Covering all things Lego, from Minneapolis to Fiverton and Lego cities beyond, it's breaking news. What's up, the Lego fans, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Breaking News. I am your co-host, Alex, and with me is the other guy, Jason, from Jason's Bricks in 5. What's up, man? Not much. Just here. Gonna talk Lego? I don't know. Let's you didn't talk tell me Lego. it had to be exciting. That's the problem. I got nervous when you said it's an exciting episode. It's always exciting stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. All right, so we had oh. a... Oh, gosh, dang. All right, what's up? While, we're, while I'm thinking about it, All right. today we're on Alex's channel. This is Alex Nunes of Lego and Land fame. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, because he won't tell you to do it. <laughs> I told him I was going to make fun of him that way. Anyway. Is that good? Yeah, that that's great. Um, but also, uh, this yes, this is my channel. If you don't know this guy, this is Jason from Jason's Bricks in 5. <laughs> and if you haven't done so already, hop on over to his channel and hit that subscribe button. And don't miss another moment of Oswald Madness. Because that's what you're getting. If you like Oswald, he's your guy. Yes. If you like tipper trucks, <laughs> that was your guy. <laughs> Very much so. Oh, man. So, yeah, we had a fun episode last week. It was great. Uh, we're, we're, we're into April now. A little long. We had, a, we had some... <laughs> it was a long episode. We, you know, we just ramble on, man. Ramble on. Well, I think the problem was we hadn't recorded in like we had a lot. Weeks. We had a lot to talk about. You know, I was gone, and we hadn't really talked. Yeah. There was a few texts, but, you know, mm. so... But yeah. that's okay. Don't worry. We still have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Some interesting topics and controversial items to discuss today. And everybody's favorite when we start stuffing our face with something. What are we doing today? Oh, you want to do that already? No, no. I'm, not, oh. I'm already drinking something here. Well, we have a drink today. Oh, it is a drink. It is a drink. Yeah, oh boy, here we go. Yeah, and you know what? I, I think drinks are going to be a little bit better um, than uh, food. Anyway, uh, last week's food was... That was a, that was probably the worst we ever had. Is those dry cookies? Yeah, like just like I I'm, I I love me cookies. Some cookies. All right. <laughs> I, uh, I even love those ones with the jelly in the middle. Yeah, me too. But that but was those were that wasn't good. jelly. That was I don't know if it was aged. Was it just old? What was going no, on with that? No, because it, it was it was. Do you want me to tell you what it was? It was British. Oh. <gasps> Great Scott. All know. right. I don't know. Well, maybe anyway. maybe we'll find something better that's that's uh, from the United Kingdom. They, I know they have other stuff that's good. So. They have something good out there, I'm yes. sure. Anyway. Well, today's thing is actually from Scotland. So, Is it Scotch? No, it's not. I know you get all excited for that. It's not. No, we don't want to do Scotch on this channel. Or do we? <laughs> all right let's um let's let's talk lego man uh all right. what, what, what are the updates with lego these days well uh so <laughs> what do we got here uh okay so i i had something that i i have in the notes here okay so the daily bugle i would consider that a premium set right it's 300 bucks Yes, I would say now? so. I don't remember. I think it's three fifty now. You're yeah. right. Yeah, I know it went up, so I don't remember if it was two fifty and went to three or three and went to three fifty. But it was three hundred originally, and it had all of those and figs. To and yeah, a, and a lot of yeah. you know exclusive figs. One mm -hmm. of them, I think, was the Mysterio. Yes, Mysterio yeah. exclusive. So yeah, I sneeze. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the exciting part of breaking whew. news. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, continue. <laughs> so. They have the Mysterio minifig. It's been exclusive. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know they do those magazines in the UK or any in Europe, really, and they'll have either you guys builds have or magazines minifigs. out there. Yes, but they have them with Lego. <laughs> remember the ones I brought back from Europe? I yeah, showed you. I remember those. Those are cool. So they have, have they have like clones and different stuff. One is coming out supposedly that has the Mysterio figure in it no. from the Daily Bugle. Oh. And, what? you know, like another example is the Captain Rex here. The rumor is he's going to be in one of those mechs. So I was just curious. A mech suit? Like a little $12 yeah. set? Yeah. Oh, boy. So my question is, what do you think about when LEGO does that? When they take something that is in an you know, exclusive fig in a set, because it's happened before. Yeah. Like the UCS gunship. You know, they had the, the clone that was in there. And then all of a sudden he was in the calendar and he was in something else. Yeah. And it makes people mad. Yeah. 
What are your thoughts on it? Well, I think you have to look at it from both sides of the equation. Okay, as a collector, I've spent a lot of money to get, let's say, 650 bucks here so I can get Captain Rex, and that's the only one you get. Then all of a sudden, he comes out in a mech. He's mm -hmm. 100% identical to this one. Yeah. No variation, right? Well, because people were paying, when this first came out, they were paying a, a premium, you know, like oh, sure. 150 bucks just for him. Yeah. All of a sudden, word came out, the rumor is they're going to come out with the mech. Sales fell off on what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah, so obviously, if I'm somebody who has him and I spent that premium, I'd be like... Naturally, I'd be upset. On the other side of the coin, you're like, oh, <laughs> woo, good thing I didn't buy yeah. Captain Rex for 150 bucks because I can get him for 12 bucks and throw away the pieces that he comes with because who wants a mech? Yeah. Like, seriously, who wants a mech? Yeah. Are you, do you buy him for the mechs? Nobody's uh, buying for the mech. You buy him for this. The... Shy Time is building an army of mechs. Oh, Shy Time, are you serious right now, man? <laughs> So, All right. Hey, well, you know, he's always the exception to the rule, but though, you know it what? seems like. But that's the thing. Like, and, and, and we've talked about this before, and I've said this very thing. I'm glad they make things I don't want, because then I don't have to worry about space and money on those. Yeah, sure. But, uh, okay, and then the third point of view is Lego. They don't give a, they, they don't, they don't give a hoot. They don't care. Because they're just going to build what they want to build, put out what they want to put out. They're not going to like, hey, I got this great idea. Let's just make sure that this particular minifigure only exists in one set yeah. and let's all shake hands and promise each other. Just like Ole <laughs> said, don't ever make military sets. We'll promise to never ever create another Rex Quando or something like that. And then they go and make a mech for 20, 10 bucks and you can get them, you know. <laughs> Rex Quando. That's for my, my Go home to Starlet every night. <laughs> I don't think so. You think anyone wants a roundhouse in the head while I'm wearing these bad boys? Forget about Forget it. About it. <laughs> I, I like how in the we'll get to it in the comments, but I like how you and I were commenting on the video making Napoleon Dynamite jokes oh, to yeah. each other. It was great. <laughs> it was good. Uh, uh, anyways, no. It's, so I guess l let me ask well, you this: if you if you had two options, you you were the king of Lego, and you could make the decision. And your choice was: there are exclusive figs. For these Spaces. premium sets, or there's not. Or not. Mm. Which would you say would be your preference? Like, if you were in charge of Lego, I would have an exclusive fig for a set, or I would. Yeah. I would do exclusive. I just think it's cooler. I, I think it's too. more fun. I, I think it creates more buzz. Mm -hmm. It's it's more like, oh wow, you have this. It, it creates something special. Yeah. And I, I know that people are like, oh, well, I'm not going to spend that much money on a leg uh, on a, on a minifigure. That's fine, but that's what makes it special because people do. Yeah. They do spend that kind of money on a minifigure. So I like the idea of exclusivity. I like the idea of it being rare. Mm -hmm. And and um, not that I have a, a bunch of rare sets or collection of, of pieces or minifigures or things like that. But when I found out that I did, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, know, I felt felt kind of special. Yeah. You know, like my mom always told me You're that special. was special. You know, and then when I got in the short bus, I was special. But now it's not like that anymore because everyone's special, right? Yes. And if these figs come in everything, nothing's special. And if everybody is special, wait, well, hold on, that's syndrome. And if everyone's super, no, no one will super. be. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, I would agree with you. I prefer, you know, the exclusivity of yes. those items. And I know that means I'm not going to own everything. Yeah. As we talked about last week, I finally but, broke down and got a Cad Bane. But, yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. But, you know, it goes with Lego sets as well, like when they do a remake or something like that. Um, and it not, it's tough because they don't, they don't do a piece-by-piece -piece remake of, like, for example, uh, like the Skull's Eye Schooner. Mm -hmm. uh, that was from 1993. Um, I have that set, and it's, it's beautiful. I love having it in the collection. It's, it's, uh, when I see it, I go, oh, that's, I don't see that very often. That's a cool ship. I remember that one. I got it. I like having it. Now, if they recreated like a, we're re-releasing the Skull's Eye Schooner piece by piece, everything authentic as far as the pieces and minifigures go, I'd be like, oh, huh. yeah, that kind of makes Wasn't me not feel Wasn't that similar so to special, what they did you know? with like the ship in the bottle? Like it came out and it was almost exactly... The same set, I think it was yeah. like one piece yeah. different because it was a right. brick separator or something like that. Well, that, that was the Taj Mahal. The too. Taj Mahal was that way yeah. and the rocket, right? The, the rocket came rocket back out. Yeah, they released the rocket. Yeah, And, and people get bugged when they do that mm -hmm. because once it's retired, like it or not, there is a premium. Yeah. And people will pay that to get that set. Yes. 
and then you know it's kind you of know, like I, the sets that you had and sold and then you decided to buy them again mm -hmm. it bugs you yeah like i paid more than i sold it for yeah you know you know it's the easiest answer is hey it's life man it sucks yeah. uh, sometimes you win sometimes you lose like the 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 apollo 5 rocket um, I bought that as an investment set, and I sold it. Made not a lot of money, but some money. And yeah. then I saw it released again. I'm like, <laughs> sucks to be that guy, yeah. you know. And but maybe to him, he's like, oh man, well, it is what it is, you know. Buyer beware. Uh, but that's um, and it's not just Lego. It's like that with anything, yeah. really, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but no, with, with Lego, you know, it's frustrating. But at the same time, if I wanted the Skulls Eye Schooner, let's back to my example here, and they released it, I'm like, oh. I've always wanted this, but I never wanted to spend four hundred dollars to get it. <laughs> now I can spend. It's probably gonna be like a two hundred and fifty dollars set or something like that, or ridiculous. You know, I think it was like one hundred and thirty dollars or one hundred and forty when it was first out. Yeah. And uh, but they, let's say they released it for one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty bucks. I'd be like, oh man, that's awesome. You know, uh, twenty, well, <laughs> thirty years later. Ouch! It hurts saying that. Uh, it's it's out again. You know, just something like that is is. So from from my, someone who missed out. Good for them, you know? Yeah. So I don't know if I have like a strong opinion of like yes or no, it's just the way it is. Um, but I, I will say this, that whatever the side I'm on, that's the fan I am. You know, like I want it, I have Captain Rex, so I don't want anybody else to. I want everybody else to pay what I had to pay for him, you know, or, or something like that. Not that I paid for this, uh, but, I, cause I didn't. Um, but like if, if you did, like I'm bent about my Razor Crest. Yeah. Here I go again, yeah. Yeah. I know. But like when it went on sale, like, no, no. Why do they do that anyway? But uh, you don't feel angry about the Lion Knight's castle. I don't hear you go about that one. The the four hundred dollar Lion Knight's castle. Yeah, because Lego sent that to me as a gift. Did you get that from Lego? They sent it to I me as a gift. That. I did not oh, buy. I it. didn't. I thought. You yeah, they that one. when that came out, um, I was relatively new to the land. I was like, I was like, well, a I didn't new realize member. that was a land. Yeah, set. they. I got this email from. It's like, hey, we're just gonna send these out as a gift to all land members. I was oh. like, Shh, yeah, because I was gonna buy that. Okay. I was, but no, that was a well, gift. Well, then you would have been mad. Because I got it when it was the hundred dollars off. Yes, exactly. Oh. So yeah, if I did spend four hundred dollars, you're right. But you know what? I will say this. I would have had it for quite some time. It's been out about a year. Well, you had that for six months. Six months, man. Come on. Hey, That's no time. I, I will quote the great Alex Nunes, buyer beware. Uh, <laughs> Done. I, uh, out of here. Yes. I quit. I did it. <laughs> <sighs> um, no, I don't have a problem when they re-release sets. You know, we've talked about this before. I like it. I don't want them to be a piece for piece remake though. That's where yeah, I Yeah, some some variation. You know, sure. like with the you know, your Red 5 or I don't know whatever, your X-Wing, you know, and I got the new one because we had this discussion before. I think it's cool because it's been 10 years. I didn't have it. Yeah. So it gave me an option to get. It. Right, yeah. I can see the value there so, for sure. Absolutely. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, uh, do you I, like the the exclusive premium Lego pieces, or you know, or does it bug you? What kinds of gears? <laughs> it's probably like, well, it's the ones I don't have that bugs me, and the ones yeah. I have, I like it. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> is there something that I like minifigure wise that I would want? Mr. Gold. <sighs> yeah, to say that, and I'm irked. That was... Well, because you went hunting for that, right? And if you had it, you would think that's cool. Yeah, it sells for three thousand or five thousand. Yeah, or whatever, no. Let's but... let's say that. Yeah, let's say they re-release Mr. Gold, and um, he's just like in a collectible minifigure series, uh, piece for piece. <laughs> People yeah. would lose their mind. Can you imagine? <laughs> Someone spent thousands of dollars. What was it? What did we see it for? Sixty-five hundred, something like that. What do we see it for? No, there, it was the Bricks and Minifigs. The Bricks that had and it. Minifigs that had it for had like it. was it eight grand? It was, on it was the, thousands of dollars. I don't think it was eight. I, I want to say it was like five grand. Five k, right. something like that. Yeah, I don't Man. know. It's still yeah. way more than I would ever pay for. It. Even if I had that money as disposable <laughs> income, I am not spending that on a minifigure, Mr. Gold or not. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Let us know what you think, if you have comments or thoughts on that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, there was a news story that I saw I wanted to share with you. You will find this to be rather interesting. So in California, they passed a law hmm? that 
police could no longer publish like mug shots of people that were being charged with nonviolent crimes. Okay. So there was, I think it was in Murrieta, California. They would take the pictures of these people and they would put something over their face. Okay. So they were doing Lego minifigure heads. <laughs> Lego has asked them to not use their heads. <laughs> I just saw the lineup and it made me laugh. <laughs> so the police have agreed. They said they will no longer use Lego minifigure heads. But the Lego company asked the department to, ca <laughs> to cease the practice. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I look good. I think that's fantastic. Hey, I saw you. I know, it's me, it's my mug shake. Oh no! Oh my goodness, that's hysterical. Uh, I mean, it's not super Lego related, but it made me laugh. I saw you know, that last night. Uh, <laughs> only in California, man. Let's protect the criminals. I like that. I know. Let's that's protect the, the criminals. Like, yeah. Jeez, ridiculous. Um, okay. <laughs> That makes me laugh. That's awesome. Creative, but I, I, I can totally see like, like, hey, that paints us in a negative light. Yes. I don't like that. Um, oh, the other thing. I was going to talk about this last week, but forgot. Well, we ran out of time, too. That didn't help. Um, did you see that we now have clearer images of the space CMF? Well, I don't think I've seen this uh, clear, clearer image. Oh, I've seen. Oh, okay. These are clear pictures. I've seen yeah, the, these are the clear because we saw the one yeah. and we could make out a lot of things. But um, oh my gosh, guess what? They're still terrible. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you about some of these. Uh, you know, let's take a look here. I am I going to get any of these? Let me see. Okay. So let's the start first from the one. Top. No. The, the alien inside the person. It's a reversible head. I think that's that one. I. I I'm okay with that one. If if it was like the Futurama one where the slug is on your head, that's that well, one thing. It's got the little uh, thing. Woo. Maybe you can figure a way to put a frog in there. Yeah, I don't know. All right, all right. Next, you got I don't know some cooking uh, a cooking robot, robot thing that doesn't do it for me. Does not do it for me either. The pink girl with pink the dog that looks like from does a not, 1950s does thing. It's not any good to me. Mtron. Um, Mtron. I am. I like. I, I want to like it. I want to. I really do. <laughs> but that tells me you don't. <laughs> I mean, it's I okay. love you Mtron. Don't, you don't have to like Early it. Early 90s, baby. But, gosh. We've got the UFO yeah. neck piece with the space. I mean, the body is kind of an interesting it's concept. It's interesting body, yeah. Uh -huh. The shooting yeah. star on it. It's I will cool. say this. It's not the one I would be most disappointed if I got. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'd be all right with that. Uh, the alien tourist, that one's okay. I, yeah, I don't have. Yeah, it's all right. I love her. Well, compared to the mm -hmm. second row, it's it's much better. Like what in the world? This first, I don't that know. Is, is that an insectoid? Or so super alien? I don't know, man. This just looks like a regular NASA mm -hmm. astronaut spacewalker. I don't get the penguin astronaut. What's the what's what? up with that? Ice Planet has a penguin who's also. Oh, so that would be what it's referencing. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. That was that was during my dark ages. The yeah, Ice Planet came out in late nineties. Yeah, um, yeah. It looks okay. Mm. Uh, Blacktron. See, this is I'm so conflicted because I love Space Place, Mtron, Blacktron, and these. This, like, what happened to him? Did he get bit by, like, a lizard and he's turning into a lizard? <laughs> it's like half... It, it's like he's turning into, like, a, um, a Spider-Man villain or something, you know? Mm. That's what it looks like. Hmm. And he's got some weird mohawk, mohawk or something, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. And, and then that... What is that, a constellation person? Yeah. It, she she looks like she's well, almost... It looks like a Roman... Oh, like okay. I don't God, think it's a female. It's... I think it's got it's got a male torso. Yeah. But I think it's, it's supposed like, to be... Is that a club? Is the person carrying a club? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we could read the article. It'll probably tell us, but yeah. we, we'll just we'll just talk like we know. Um, I think it's, you know, a reference to the constellations or something is what it looks like. So yeah. maybe it's, you know, like... Mm. I don't know. Yeah. One of them. Next. Then we've got the pink space baby. Probably with, the uh, only one that people really want is because of that pink space baby. Yeah, they don't want the weird... What is she? Nurse. Like, wh it's what like is she supposed to be? 
It's like a robot I, nurse. And what's the that. logo on on her chest? On it's her like a helmet. medical like, thing, that? isn't it? Hmm. It looks like a medical snowflake just, or something. Just like just get, just like w with the collectible mini three, the brown one and the blue one. Do that again. Give us give us the consistent colors. Like with this anyway. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, it's good because I don't need to. I don't feel the need to spend any of my money on those. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. So we're not buying a box, is what you're saying? You want to buy a box? Well, so we can get the whole set. I don't want the whole set. I don't okay. want that. Okay. I was just asking. I don't want. All right, uh, Joey, you're on your own. Sorry, Joey. I uh, I just this one does not do it for me, man. Yeah. No, which don't. which is a, a when when you think of the word. Space minifigures. You think, all oh, right, this is going to be a callback to the classics, but they they kind of mutilated them. If it wasn't for that pink space baby, there wouldn't be nothing. There'd be nothing in there of interest. Yeah, and um, that's not even really classic because there was no pink space person in the eighties. Yeah. Anyway, no, that's um, nothing to see here. Move along. Okay. So. Uh, but the boxes, I, I, I'm guessing they're still going to be the boxes. Yeah, they're saying and, that it, they believe they'll still have the QR code. Yeah, they, well, Lego's going to keep doing that. And, yeah. and they did say that they did that because oh. of the backlash. When I was on my trip, I forgot to tell you. Oh. I went to, I guess I was probably at Walmart, but one of the stores, every one of the boxes was pushed open. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, and I thought of you. I'm like, oh, it's still happening. Yeah, I, images just keep coming camera. in on, on that. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah. Vandalism is still happening. Yeah. All right. All right. We're done with that one? We're done with that one. Okay. Um, do you want my topic? Oh, you have topic? Yes, I have please. A topic. Good. Go with your topic. So this was uh, uh, something that it's, uh, when YouTubers clash, this is not oh. new news, um, but I was trying to find some... News news? New news. New news. Oh, okay. New new news. No. New news news. New news news. New news news. <laughs> Wow. New segment. <laughs> Coming new, at new, noon. <laughs> Coming at noon. New noons news. <laughs> That's got to be one thing we do. <laughs> la, la, la. Okay. Irregardless, let me get into this. All right, here we go. So I was on YouTube. Shocking. But I was looking for other creators' content, if you can believe that. Because I was trying to find a ballast or kind of a decoration for train track okay. to make it look not gray and boring. And uh, naturally, I went to Joey's channel, Brick Trains, and because I liked how his trains were set up, mm -hmm. his track, he's a pretty cool layout there. And I was looking at his, you know, looked at the number of his videos that kind of highlighted it. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, then I went to, I don't know, I, I don't think I should give the YouTubers names. Probably not. I don't okay. know. But there, there's two YouTubers, and they have decent followers. One of them is well known for sure. Yes. Um, Many people would know, but. Yes. Yeah. But, the, but I found uh, the image to be like, oh, like, that's what I'm looking for. It was, it was like how to make a, a, a ballast, mostly for curves. Like, people are like, how do I make curves smooth because yeah. they don't fit? So there's, but I wasn't really curious about the ballast. I just wanted to see the decoration. Mm -hmm. So I clicked on this one, and I was watching it for a while. And I was like, oh, okay, that looks pretty good. And I always habitually scroll down to look at some comments. I always look at the first dozen or comments or oh. so. And I noticed one really quick because it had like 14 responses to it. And it was from another YouTuber has said, and it was just like one line, and I don't remember what word for it, but it basically said, you stole my idea. Uh, you took my idea, I created it. But I was like, oh, that's weird, because he gave this dude credit when he was talking about it. He's like, at the beginning of the video, he's like, oh yeah, I saw this video from this guy. Uh, he made this thing here, and I'm making it here for you guys uh, too. So the timing of this was two years ago, the one that I'm watching, and then the original, original was four years ago in 2020. Okay. And... I was reading the comments and the responses, and there, people were kind of taking sides. People were like, oh, don't whine about it, man. He gave you credit. What are you asking for here? And the other ones were like, oh, well, he should have at least reached out to you and asked you if it, for permission to do this. And the, the other content creator from the earlier video was like, he even stole my, um, uh, my thumbnail. I'm like, the thumbnail, I mean... Thumbnail, it was a picture how of his are you going to make it different? <laughs> it, there, one's his and one's yours. It's just... Anyway, I, I was kind of... I was entertained more by this back and forth. And, and they... I mean, they're adults. Adults. 
Uh, so the, the, the guy that copied it was trying to de-escalate and said, yeah, um, uh, this isn't really, like, I, I gave you credit or I told it was you. I just, like, it was nothing. I wasn't trying to steal your thing. But, yeah, right? But it made me think about this because um, I remember when I was first on YouTube and I was making videos. And sure enough, there's a couple times I was accused of stealing someone else's designs like hey you stole this from so and so and i'm like i don't know who the heck that is <laughs> i don't watch other creators i just create my stuff and i share it yeah. so obviously as we're creating lego especially in the train world there's a high probability that you're building something that's in very much likeness to something else that somebody's created right um so i was kind of curious what what you thought about that and what our audience thinks about this situation so if I created a ballast and you saw my video, I'm like, hey, that's a cool video. I like what Alex did there. And you go, um, I saw this on Alex's video of how to create a ballast. I'm going to recreate it here. You know? Sure. And then I go, Jason, what the heck, man? This is mine. You shouldn't be able to do this. Do I own this? Is it, do I have to patent this to protect it? Well, so when you explain this to me, you know, mm -hmm. he, he said, I have this idea yeah. to talk about. My initial response to him was, so this guy says, if you build something first, no one else can build that thing. Like that's <laughs> that's, that's I guess that's what it comes rule. across, and yeah. it's so stupid. Um, or, or is there I, is or is there's unspoken rule among YouTubers or creators <clears throat> that we should ask for permission? I don't think that that's necessarily the case. I mean, especially if he's giving the person credit. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's like, I came up with this great idea, right. mm -hmm. and and did this. I mean, and, but it's similar to what we had a few weeks ago with. The ideas, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, were people were Lego stealing right, sets? Well, right. they look yeah. alike. I don't know. So the way I look at it is, if he's saying, "Hey, this guy did this," you don't really have a complaint, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, if if he was trying to say, "I came up with this idea; it's totally me," and uh, you should follow me because you'll get stuff like this. Okay, maybe you could have a beef, but mm -hmm. if he if he even just called it out, you know. I don't know if he provided a link to the guy's video, you know, maybe, because that's what I've done a couple times. Yeah. Where I'm like, you know, I used this method, you know, you can get more from this guy on this video. Yeah, Because yeah. mm -hmm. I think that's fair, you know, and maybe people watch it, maybe they won't, and, you know, they're not going to get many views from and me. You know, but... And what was interesting about it, too, and I, don't want, I want you to keep going there, but the original video, I mean, it had tens of thousands, whereas this new one here had maybe, I don't know, like 1,500, not yeah. very many. So I'm like, dude, you obviously got the views, the chunk of the views, and people... Um, now, to, to be fair, when I was Googling this, I wasn't looking for how to create a ballast. Yeah. I w it didn't say... It was just recommending videos based on my church of train track decoration or whatever I, I posted. Oh, no. But his did show up first, the one that was copied, um, but whereas the other one was... So the original down. showed up first? No, no, the or copied the one the showed up, was showed recommended up. before. So I thought, at least I think it was anyway. Well, um, and... And yeah. that can be tricky because, number one, it could be some of the words you had were maybe used in uh -huh. his description or, right. you know, whatever. Also... Search terms. The other thing about it, I mean, I think you know this and I know this, or we, I think we know this, but <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about this, actually, what I'm about to talk about. The algorithm, <laughs> you know, for some reason, like, you have videos mm -hmm. that are forever old and it keeps pushing them. Because yes. it keeps getting views. Right. Yeah, you're and right. And so if, uh -huh. you know, the original video maybe mm -hmm. has died off and the new video is getting a few views, yeah. maybe that's why YouTube's pushing it uh -huh. a little bit. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I I just turn on the yeah. camera and hope something shows up. I, it, yeah, yeah. And right. if people watch, that's mm -hmm. better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he was very defensive about that's it. That's funny. Yeah, it was, he was like, how dare you? I'm losing all this money and views because of this. I mean, he's not saying that, but that's kind of the implication that I got from it. Um, and I'm like, dude, cause I was really? kind of, there was one person that said, dude, chill out. And I was kind of like, I felt like that, like, dude, yeah, you were. So if, if this video, I think you said far, the, man. the new one had like 1500 views. Not very many in comparison. I mean, what are we 10 or 15 bucks. It's I, not like these probably really yeah. taking yeah. that much if money. Is, if it's even monetized. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's monetized. Well, uh, but, but if the other guy had got those, because he is monetized, sure. he would have to be. Yeah, he is. I think he know, is, yes. Anyway, yeah. that, that's just, Irregardless. that seems petty to me. It, it is. That's really But the thing is that, but like, it always ticks me off being accused of stealing someone's design when I didn't, though. That, I mean, that's, that's not this topic, but I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to happen. We're, we're creating stuff. We're creating houses. We're creating roads. We're creating this and that. Um, there's a pretty good chance yeah. 
one of my designs is going to look like you're you're copying this guy's city. I'm like, uh, you mean a Lego city? Yeah. But I, I will say this though. I, I'm always pretty flattered when people want to build something that I built. Yeah. And, and, and I've been asked permission. Like, can I, can I build this? Um, are you okay if I, if I try to recreate this uh, using your design? I'm like, yeah. I don't own it. I don't have a patent on it. Um, so yeah, go for it. Um, sky's the limit. And if you want to give me credit, that's fine. I, I never felt like you have to give me credit. Like a lot of people wanted to recreate that, sh uh, not the Shmi Tower, the uh, Avengers Tower. Okay. And, um, and I even did a how-to. So <laughs> if I do a how-to, then I better not get upset at somebody when they recreate it, right? <laughs> Uh, but I did that because so many people were requesting, like, how do you build this? Did you do a how-to followed with the how dare you? Yeah, <laughs> how-to and how dare you. You better give me credit, but I don't care. Like, yeah. it's, it's YouTube. It's like, it's like, it's pure competition, man. Uh, just go out there, create your videos. Well, and but in some ways, business. it's not competition. It's collaboration, right? I mean, this person saying, hey, I saw this from this guy and mm -hmm. it's been a big help. Yeah. I don't yeah. see that as competition yeah but i think in, in that situation where you are taking someone's very specific instructions piece by piece then yeah i i feel like the right thing to do not legally obligated but the right thing to do is to um give them credit yeah and it yeah. sounds like he did so yeah that's he, why... he did but he was he was all getting out of shape because he didn't ask him for permission mm. okay yeah so like I he a, needs permission <laughs> i have a video i've been working on you you've seen the pine tree that i did yeah yeah I took essentially what uh, Brickcrafts, the guy in Austria mm -hmm. who has the huge layout now is building the museum. Yes, amazing. He did these trees. He just he didn't actually like spend a lot of time. He did like a fifteen second. This is how I did it. Do, 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 mm -hmm. And you know he moves on to whatever else. Yeah. I did more of a you know I, I haven't released it yet. I don't know if it'll be out by the time this is out. But um, I did more of a how I built it and how it looks and. You know, I plan on, you know, linking to his video so people can see that because I, you know, and that was my plan to start with. But now you got me scared. So thank you huh. for that. That reminds me, didn't I use your tree design for my bay? Yeah, yeah, how dare you? Did I give you credit? I don't even know if I did. I don't know. I don't remember if I said like, yeah, I saw this on I think Jason's you channel. Said, I think you said something. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks great. I want to do this. Yeah. But I encouraged you, right? I can't. I'm like, I do these. Did. They're easy. Yeah. And they were. I'm like, I'm, there's a lot of they pieces involved. But they do look good, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, there's there's a lot, but there's not a lot, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, you know, sure. It's not, it's not like right. the pine tree where it's 200. But no, I went crazy. With, I, I built 30 of those babies. Yeah. They're all over that, uh, the Bay Area. I keep yeah. the Bay Area. I'm like, ah, oh, the Bay Area. Uh, but yeah. But anyway. I don't know. Boo. Boo. Anyway, so how's, yeah, the oh Ohanti deal? That's some. Anyway, uh, oh, the gamble. Man. Oh, that's a whole. It's so crazy. Anyway, but yeah, I want to know what you guys think about that. Uh, if have you guys been in that situation before? If you're a creator, have you been in a, a predicament or been involved in a predicament similar to that? Uh, and what was the outcome? Because I know there's like, if, if the person has a patent on a design, that's one thing. That's a, the legality yeah. completely changes. But when it's a free exchange of ideas and you're sharing them with the world, literally sharing them with the world, like here it is, you're asking for it. Yep. You know? So I don't think there's any kind of uh, expectation of, of um, exclusivity to your design, like that's not my design, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, anyway, the, it's interesting. Now I'm waiting for Jabo to comment on my tipper truck, tiny tipper uh -oh. TV. Oh, uh -oh. hey, you copied. There you I'll be go. Like, no, it's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my audience. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, that was that, that was my. Did was you my have something you want to talk about, Jabo? Recent video. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was. This caught me off guard, uh, but he, he again, uh, he did the, the not breaking news, which is brilliant, yes. hysterical, loved it. Speaking of copying our stuff, Speaking, man. I know, like, hey, <laughs> gosh. But he, and then um, out of nowhere, we get that, it was on. Um, so he uh, did, he got the planet, the, yeah, the, this the is what you're talking about, Earth's right? orbit Earth. around the sun, yeah. And uh, so and, he, he was doing kind of a review of, of that set. Yeah. But he took the kind of a still from that. Like right? at the very beginning, and, he was sitting there. And I'm like, what's going on here? What's, what is this? And I hear the music start from the Star, uh, Star Trek theme. Like, boop, boop. And then I hear space. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it's, he has taken it our is, podcast. It is Jabo's impression it. of Alex's impression of Captain Kirk. <laughs> That's what I saw. That's what I it was, yeah. Uh, what was the, we were talking, we were doing a um, old guy new shirt segment mm -hmm. 
and I went on like, these are the voyages of Jabo Shirts or whatever, and I, yeah. and I did the whole thing. Oh, I, just went, I, went that <laughs> I went through the whole thing. Is that what you're talking about, right? Or is that something different? Oh, that was a different one. Oh, this is... That was a different one. I, I thought you were talking about the one where he did the planet review. Oh, no, no, no. I was okay, talking about you're talking about the one where he did the shirts. The shirts. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah that. there was that. There's so many good things. I can't keep them all straight. Man, it's, it's insane. And when he does one every day... He does do that quite literally. And you every don't day. have this problem, I don't think, because I'm a member, so I get them and it's like four at a time. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. No. But no, that was that was one that I. I mean, it's Star Trek, so I'm going to remember that. Yeah. That's why no, when you and, said Jabo. Well, because he sent us that first. I yeah. Think we had that. That was funny. Hysterical. The timing. Um, all I got to say is apparently my timing through all that matched perfectly with the actual music of the intro to Star Trek. Yes. So, yes. uh, okay. I'm pretty cool that way. I'm pretty I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on to what You're you a big deal here for the what you were talking about. Well, no, that's the video I thought you were talking about when you referenced it at first. Yeah. The the one where you reviewed yeah. the the Earth's orbit. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not the shirt one. So it was different. No, we were talking not. about different things. We were talking. Yeah, this we is a great, great. Same uh, planet, different worlds. Speaking of planets, we'll do a segment of nostalgic noons. Hey, we missed this last week, probably because we didn't have any time. Well, I have plenty of topics. But do you remember? Noons. Do you remember when you were a kid? No. And we had more planets? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to get a shirt that says, when I was a kid, there were nine planets. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You know? Now there's eight. <laughs> what happened? Well, it's so sad. I got demoted to the demoted. lower shelf. <laughs> What, what is it even called? What, what's it's the, a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet. Yes. Not even a planet. It's so dumb. Man, I remember like back in, the, in, in, in grade school, that was our solar system. And there were nine planets and you had to memorize yep. them all. So it's forever ingrained in my mind. Yep. It's always going to be nine planets. And do you want to know the funniest part? What's the funniest part? It didn't part? even make it like a all full the way around. rotation around, around the around. sun as yeah. a planet. It didn't even it's make so it like sad. half because it's so long of a rotation. It made it like I'm you know, so sorry. A little sliver. Oh, I'm sorry. Good one. If you can hear us transmitting this to you, whatever year it is when it finally reaches you. You're a planet to us, Pluto. You're always going to be a planet to us. That's right. And Mickey's dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's mm. see. Um... That is your nostalgic. Is that your nostalgic news? That was segment? it. I, I, every once in a while, I get thoughts that come into my mind, so I have a note of different things. I'm having a thought, maybe. Yes. You know, I have other ones. That's like, good. It's a good thought. You know, my mm -hmm. wife didn't remember this one, but when you were a kid, do you remember Ding Dongs and the aluminum foil? Ding Dongs. Oh yeah, Ding Dongs. Yeah, the they aluminum came foil just Ding Dongs. In yeah. The foil. Yes. Now they're you know in a whatever different package, like it's sealed. Yeah. But when I was a kid, like. That was the coolest was thing. It. I it never had them. Foil, I yeah. was never that guy. Oh, no. I was always I, was that guy always the over There was the, always a well-off kid in lunch. You see him pull out the silver hockey like, puck. Oh, it's like, man. Oh, it's like, salivating. I'll, I'll trade you uh, oh, for a micro machine <laughs> or something like that. It's, man. Anyways. Those yeah. are things. Kids, kids that had those or Twinkies, man. Oh, I was so jealous. I'm like, wow. But we had um, the, the, fake, <laughs> the fake treats uh, that tasted like cardboard. But we still liked them, you know. Uh, but man, that's the, all you but have. the kids that had the hostess treats, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. those kids were so <laughs> lucky. Man, so lucky. Speaking of Twinkies, <laughs> I didn't until you said this, I was going to bring this up, but um, just a little background history. I think this is a funny story in my life. So I was probably like third or fourth grade. My mom came and picked me up one day from school, and we're driving home. I'm like looking in the car. I'm like, what's that? And my mom oh, got no. all squirrely. There was a Twinkie wrapper, a three pack. Oh. And, and my mom like, well, like you could tell she was like starting to sweat. And then she fessed up. She's like, well, I was, I had to go grocery shopping and I got these for you. And I decided to try one. You know, I was going to eat one. And it was gross. And, and then she <laughs> ate all three and I, she's never eaten a Twinkie since. <laughs> like she's felt so bad about it. It's like. I can always bring that up with my mom, and it makes her feel guilty. So whenever people talk about Twinkies, that's what I think about. It's not a very interesting story. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> What's that, Mom? It was way more interesting when I thought about it than I realized when it oh, came out of my that's mouth. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how I just say, like, yeah, I ate it for me. You got a problem with that? <laughs> that's what I would say. You didn't deserve it. I work my butt off every day. It's my money. <laughs> you want your own Twinkie? You'll buy it yourself with your money. 
All right. <laughs> that, there you go. All right. Uh, should we do Shy's favorite time? Engage. Old guy. New shirt. All right. We have we have six submissions, but one I had to take two pictures of. <laughs> So we'll discuss this. So. All right, let's do it. All right, so first off, what's the deal, Jabo, with a gray plain shirt with a pocket? I mean, that's kind of like your It was just an off day. day. He just but had to do on. it. He had to do it. You know. And is that the same white shirt from the first day? It's just dirty? <laughs> just curious. Uh, let's see, Philly Brickfest from mm. 2017. Uh, I want a Philly cheesesteak. Well, maybe one time on Breaking man, News we can have that. Mm -hmm. That was pre-pandemic days. Pre-pandemic. Those were great days. That was back when you could find Lego on clearance. Mm -hmm. Man, days are over. This, this one was from March 14th. Pi Day. Pi Day. Yeah. He was mm -hmm. proud of himself. He remembered Pi Day. <laughs> I remember him talking Good about job. that. Good job. That was, you got to get that. You only one chance, one opportunity. <laughs> uh, down in the corner. Down this, this in the one, corner. He sat down. He made a big deal about, I'm tired. I'm sitting down. <laughs> And he talked about the falling Man. water set. Oh, yeah. And for a while, I was trying to remember what his shirt was. It's rock, paper, scissors, but with the Lego versions. Mm -hmm. That's bad. That is clever. Then we have Dr. Dr. McBrick. McBrick, yep. Do you know Dr. Mm -hmm. McBrick? Mm -hmm. Oh. Then this one is two Dr. shirts. <gasps> Maybe there's people who T -M -B -G. don't. Because you know what? I didn't see that. This that comes up in our comments. Uh, someone mentioned in the last video that we talked about something and they're like what does this mean oh you know what you're right so yeah we should do we better, with be that. better about that's it. good we try feedback. but yeah. we'll, that'll come up in the comments we but. just assume that people know so this is the one where he was going to build his shirt or build his shirt <laughs> let's build a shirt <laughs> build his tipper truck behind Can his we back build it and he messed it up because oh. that's the second picture where he's oh. like no he messed but it up it looks it, good tmbg do you know what that is uh let's see uh, hold on is it lego no. Um, they might be gigantes. Yes. They might be giants. So this is him on the front. Oh, like he was angry. Because the tipper up. was at an angle. Because oh, he couldn't feel it. Man, that's tough. So it was oh, so close. Yeah. So close, yet so far. Yes. So there you go. But that's great. I'll great session of looking at don't mock it i know you shirts. love it love it I know you love it. good times good times uh keep going you're you're almost halfway there no not even close to halfway we're third there. of the way there third of the way there mm -hmm. yeah man um oh a couple other things i remembered so did you see what i acquired just before i left on my trip what did you acquire right, I acquired right before a new sealed set an you old new sealed set. You got, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Wait, was it, it's not Indiana Jones. Yes. Wait, 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 hold yes. on a second. You got, because you were, you got the airplane one. Yes, the green that was airplane. the one before we talked about it. I got one after that. <sighs> this was a big Shit. deal. I had a video about oh, getting a white oh, whale set. Oh, it's, it's the, the one with the rock coming down. Yeah, the, the, yeah, tenth, yeah, yeah. the golden idol. Yeah, that one. So I got that one okay. on eBay and it was $280. The box is in perfect condition. Like no it kidding. is, it pristine is awesome. condition. Yeah. When you come over, you'll see it. It's amazing. Wow. When it came out, I was like, "There's no wrinkles. There's no dents. No, I like. There's hardly any shelf wear. This is beautiful. Wow. And that's one of the more premium sets out where, of that line. Where do they have it stored? I don't know. The guy was like, "I bought this, and my daughter's not going to build it, so we're like, you know. even just like sitting on a shelf, it's going to have shelf wear." Yeah, I don't know. That's it, amazing. It's, it's really, really good shape. Huh? So I was really excited. And the price, I mean, two eighty is a lot because originally I think it was like fifty or seventy Man. bucks. But a if lot you look for what it goes for, two eighty was a steal. What does it go for? It goes for like five hundred or more. Are you serious? Oh yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. That one and the temple, the. Uh, Temple of Doom are the two that are hmm. most expensive. Anyways, wow. we when we went and filmed with Shy at yeah. the Bricks and Minifigs, yeah. see, I was really happy my wife was with me because they had one. It was a certified set like they have at Bricks and Minifigs, yeah. right? Yeah. So every piece has been accounted for. Yeah, the box right. is there, but it's open and, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. I pulled it off and looked. Do you know what they were asking for a certified set? Uh, it's a used set. It's a used set, but certified. So you know, uh, at, a, at a Bricks and Minifigs, though. Yeah. I would say four fifty. Three seventy five. Ooh, okay. So, but I told my wife, I'm like, look, see, I got a good deal. Yeah, yours is sealed in pristine <laughs> condition, two eighty. I like how we I always have to feel like justified to our wives. See, it was a good deal. I told you. 
He's like, yeah, it's a great deal. <laughs> it's a real good deal. <laughs> My only good deal with Lego is if it's free. Okay. <laughs> so, I got that. I was super Nice job, man. Um, well played, my man. Yes. Well played. So that's got to feel good. Yeah, spending a premium but still getting a discount. Yeah. Well, I've seen it sell for much more than that, so that's why I was like, mm -hmm. mm, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds like a good pickup. If you're gonna pick it up, that sounds like it was. It's like one the best I knew deal. I was gonna get. So yeah. And that's kind yeah. of what I've decided with these sets. I I know what they generally go for. Yeah. So I know what a, a right. Good deal you know what a good deal is. is. Yeah. And so I just I know what a good deal is when I see it. If you're patient, you can get it. You know, and that's that's what it was. I waited and I found it. So, just a little patience, <laughs> yeah. Name that band. That's an easy one for our generation, though. All right, what okay. what's um what amazing stimulating conversation are we coming up with next? Should we do? We didn't do. A, hey, uh, you know, we have to um, kind of just discuss this really quick. Okay. Uh, next week. We will announce. Is that right? We're going to announce the winner. Oh, last week we told them it would be this week. Oh, we don't have it yet <laughs> because we made this episode right when that one ended. I, so thought, we I thought five minutes was enough time for you to decide. No, I had to go pee, so I did not decide. So uh, we have to. Oh, do how you wanna, are we going to decide? I, we how have are to we go. Doing this? We have to go through all of them in a row. Should we put it up to a vote? No, we don't. They, it has to be us. We have to be know, the people that decide this. We um, are the heartbreakers. Which is going to be tough. Uh, but all I can say is that your submissions have all, yeah. you're all winners. But only one can get the set. So that's going to be tough for us to decide who gets that. Uh, but know that it'll be well-deserved. I, I think seeing all the submissions, you're all the deserving of it. Um, so I guess we'll just have to buy a bunch of those from uh, Blue Bricks and uh, <laughs> get, them, uh, get, get you guys all the set, you know. No, yeah. no, but well, uh, sorry, uh, we, um, I, I guess, I, I, unless you want to decide who wins now, I'm no, not ready we, for that. We don't need to do it on the spot. That's next fine. week, we'll... next week, guys. But. Uh, it, tax it, day, tax day. Uh, we'll give you it on tax is day. It tax day? Um, that way, whoever's doing their taxes um, will not be as sad. Is it really tax day? It might be. Hmm. I know. It's... Let me look at a calendar. Um, April sixteenth. It it's the day the after day tax after day. Taxes, so. The day after tax day, when all of our, when we're done. So when you have no more money, when you're out of, you're broke, prize. you'll get some great news from us, or maybe some. Madness. Should we do? Should we do a grand prize then, like a, a runner up? Should we do that? We can like do announce. Tune like in the, next week, and you'll get all week, the details. And we'll get the all, exciting. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Prize be great. extravaganza. What he said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. Real quick, man. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we are going that. to do. What, do we have a name for this thing? Alex eats. I don't know. What do we call him? <laughs> we don't have a name. It's just us eating or drinking. I don't know. If this segment's going to last this much. It's uh, longer because we're going to have the results of our poll um, pretty soon. And uh, we're going to find out by tax day if this is going to continue. Based so let on us know comments. if you like seeing our reaction to this is an international beverage. And I picked this just for you. Thank you. It's Scottish. I guess. That's the name of it. Iron Brew. Bruh. That's how I read it. Bruh. It's Urn Brew. <laughs> Sounds like my kids. That's how they say it. It's Scottish. It's very bizarre. I've never seen a drink have... 94 calories. An odd number like that. It's usually 90 or 110 or, you know, whatever. Yes, you are correct. Whoa, it's super fizzy. Ooh. You guys hear that? I don't know. What does it smell like? It sounds like the ocean. Wow, it, it smells very citrusy. Well, third ingredient Ooh. is citric acid. Acid. <laughs> there we go. Two acid. <laughs> Two acid and heartburn. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that was, I don't know if I inhaled something, like a fume. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but, okay, That's weird. Right, it was, <laughs> I, was, I was like, okay, that... 
Oh. Sorry, I'd like to apologize <laughs> to everyone on the audio version. Uh, this thing's got fumes coming out of it, man. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> Made with gasoline? What? Uh. So, what do you think? It's interesting. I don't, I, it's not bad. I'm thinking you don't like it. Uh, it kind of yeah. reminds me of like a creamsicle. A, a creamsicle. Carbonated creamsicle. Uh, yes, but it's not very sweet. Um, I don't, uh, this is. Uh, it's not doing it for you, huh? It's not doing it for me, guys. I, I, I can't finish it. Like the one that they had, uh, what was it? Three weeks ago, the whatever. That was actually pretty the good. The mezzo mix? The mezzo mix. The mesmerizing mesmo mix. This the, one. The Coke and orange? I, I can't do this one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it smells good, but I'm good. Thanks. You're trying to kill me, man. I'm trying to kill me. <laughs> Jeez. Like, what, what the heck is making us cough? The fizz. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, yeah. I, I can't, I, I don't, it's not, I don't know. I mean, it's citrusy for sure. It's got like an orange flavor, but it's just like, uh, it tastes like a, yeah, that's what it is. It's a, it tastes like a diet soda. It tastes like a diet, um, wow, what would it be? Um, that's lost all of its fizz. So, okay, so a soda that's gone flat, a diet flat soda, that's what it tastes like. Then why is it so fizzy? I'm just saying what it tastes like. I know. To me. I'm just. It's weird. Second ingredient is sugar, but it also has aspartame in it. Aspartame. Isn't that <laughs> fake sugar? That's weird. It doesn't f taste like real sugar. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. That was <laughs> wonderful. Ugh. I got this. I should have. I think I drank all my V8 already. And well, you're gonna have some iron. I just gotta get the. That tastes out of my mouth, man. So you won't be going to Scotland for... I don't know. That one won't work for me, man. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Shall we do a community commentary? A community commentary. Yes. Now that you've offended people in the UK with talking bad about their beverage, we have a submission from the UK. How about that? <laughs> I don't think he's from Scotland, though. No. This is from Paul Cameron. Hi, Paul. Um, we hear from him from him time to time. It says, hi, hey. Jason and Alex. If you wish to share this on Bricking News, then please do. We wish to. Here are my apple trees using your tree instructions. Wasn't as easy as I thought, as the apples are rather big to fit into some oh, of the places. Yeah. Oh, and I think it's the trees like I put in my park, the new ones. Oh, okay. That's what he's talking your about. Your tree submission. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not um, mine. Yeah. And I ran out of red apples. So need to get some more of them. I'm sure you're thinking it looks odd, but once you see where it's going, it should make more sense. It's my first attempt at a mock, so I know it's nice. not perfect, okay. but things will be rebuilt and changed as I work on it. First try. I also included a picture of the red beard, as I mentioned him to you in comments. Oh. None of these were designed by me. As I said, my mock building talents are very lacking. Very much enjoying Bricking News. It's like the younger version of A Fools. Not much. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> We're way younger. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're I, pretty. We're pretty transparent about our age, though. Yeah. I think they are too. Are they? I don't know how old they are. Earl is the youngest, and he was. Was he seventy-three? I think he's he seventy-three said. years old. Yeah, yeah I think that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, uh, he said, one remembers what they were about, and the other one don't remember 30 seconds later. <laughs> so, which one are we? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it depends. Depends on the day. Mm -hmm. he, uh, Alex will always remember this drink. We know that. Love watching both, though. The banter between you all is just great. Regards to you both, Paul Cameron, the UK. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that, man. <gasps> so oh, wait, wait, here's wait. the oh. tree. And I think it's interesting because I think he I like used yeah. the minifigure. Mm -hmm. That you know, fits that, in it? That's what it looks like. He no kidding. put it over. I think and that's what I'm it's curious brilliant. about. Because huh. that's the only way I can think how he got the thing there. So yeah, yeah. we'll have to look and see. That no, sure looks good. 
Ah, uh, he's got the corn going. Uh, you got the scarecrow. Hey, and it's Dorothy. the gold, golden brick, yellow brick, yellow, yellow brick, brick road. road. Nah. <laughs> You've got the Tin Man, and you can see uh, the faces. See the faces, in there, yeah. So, so, oh yeah, it is those definitely. Uh -huh. That's exactly. Yeah, it is, man. Mm -hmm. And I like the trees. I think the apples on there. Are, you know, I mean, the one you thing eat a lot is of they, apples. Then, man, yeah, they have to be. You know, you can't have them straight down. They have to be at an angle because yeah. that's where the stem that's is. But I, stem. I think it's okay. Okay, so he's got the Scarecrow. He's got Iron Man. Got, he's got the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, oh, is this the poppies? The yeah. Where they fell asleep in the poppies. Oh. I guess. But he's got the I, uh, Cowardly Lion. Yeah. Although there's he's, his upper torso upper over, over there. That's yeah. made me laugh. Ah. There we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. I think that's a fun mock. That's good. Oh, and then here's the Whoa. big pirate he's talking about. So you've got the Lego version one and then that. And this, have you seen this where people have taken the helmet and made a body for it? The Darth Vader That's one amazing. Yeah, I've seen some. So it looks like that's what he's done there. That's pretty Wait, cool. how did he do the pirate? Which one? The big one? The big, big pirate. It looks like it's just Dude. brick built. Well, yeah, it is, but. I mean, it's just what he did. He's it's amazing. It. I love it. No. Man. Uh, I don't think he said where he got it. Probably off a of Rebrickable or something like That's that. That's so cool. Oh, look at the little ship. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. It is cool. Oh, no, he's got a micro build, too. Yeah. Jumbo build and a micro build. Man, that's awesome, man. Thanks yeah. for thanks for sending that in. Those that's are fun. cool. That's a great mock. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Love it, love it, love it. So we've done shirts. Uh, oh, we need to do... Comments. Let's do some comments. The yeah. comment section with Jason and Alex. Ask Alex and see what he says. Ask Alejandro. Let's see. I didn't get any questions last week, though. Hmm? I didn't get any questions last week. Well, maybe they came in while we were filming. Covering all maybe. things Whoa. Lego. Covering all things Lego. I hate that show. I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't cover all things Lego anymore. They don't. They used to be so cool, but now they're just <laughs> covering all things weird drinks from Scotland. And they started. It went down, down. It went south when they started doing weird segments of food and eating in front of cameras and That's where critiquing people's film. shirts and. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> oh. I know. So I guess we're not doing comments. No, we are. I'm getting there. Give me a second. While he's looking for comments, make some comments. And maybe we'll read your comment. If you're lucky. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Tommy Boy watched our episode. It looks like he <laughs> made a video of our thing where we talked about him. That's oh, cool. nice. Man, uh, I, I, that's his, his rebuild is, is just mind-blowing. Oh, I know. It's that, that's so it's much work. So crazy. But it's, it's like really... awesome to see that because it, it would be so easy to just give up after that catastrophe. Well, and that's what it sounded like at first, right? Like, yeah. He was so disheartened. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. there's no way I'm going to rebuild it. I remember saying that, yeah. and I totally understood it. But okay, so this is from I guess two weeks ago at this point. That's I get it here. Sorry. Um, Got there eventually. Yeah. Well, the way it films and plays, whatever. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's just as fresh as the comments on the A Fool. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> Maybe fresher. Um, no. Um, so this this was the episode where we talked about land fatigue. Oh yeah, that was a big topic. Yeah, that was had. that was that was one of our quickest watched videos or most watched videos right away of any breaking news that I posted on my channel. Oh really? That one performed the best in a single day. I was wow. like, what is going on here? So I think the title, <laughs> Land Fatigue. People were like, yes, yeah, please. We do have Land Fatigue, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we had that. We also had the Dr. Pepper Peeps. Dr. Pepper Peeps. Dr. Pepper Peeps. DP Peeps. So there you go. Uh, and then there was probably something else we talked about, but we'll see. Probably. Uh, let's see. Shrooms said. Shrooms. <laughs> and, and just in full disclosure, this has only been up for like two days. So if you commented since then. Maybe we'll get to read it. I don't Maybe. know. Uh, but Shroom says, Most U.S. sets, I believe, are assembled in Mexico. Not sure oh, yeah. if maybe Mexico hasn't made the transition to paper or scheduled to. 
Would be good to find out. I have only seen one paper bag and the Yamaha motorcycle. Also regarding mm. land fatigue, mm. there are lots of active content ambassadors and some that aren't. Reviews from guys like Tiago or Racing Bricks really push me over the hump on deciding mm. to wait before I buy a set. Mm. YouTube monetization is driving people to the land because it seems so lucrative, but it's also a ton of work, I'd imagine. P.S. I sub a lot of land channels, you included. I'm Thank assuming you. that's you, not me. Not you? Because oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not a land channel. I'm land adjacent, remember? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but most don't produce regular or even interesting content. Hmm. Well, that's probably us. So. <laughs> regular or... In okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Thanks let's for see. Stephen Savon, what? A twist? You, I'll let you, you can read that one. Uh, Stefan Sovago. Oh, hold on, hold on. Stefan Sav Gian what? A twist 1369. Okay, one of those. We apologize. If you've been watching our show, you, you, I, you know. You know. You know. If you know, you yeah. know. Yeah. I live in France and haven't got one paper bag set. I mm. think it's really mostly a huh. land thing for Lego to show. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched the James May videos, which oh, because we talked about him. Yeah, as well, James May, former, right? Uh -huh. um, which not all begin James. with, not that James May. By the <laughs> yeah. well. uh, not whenever, that James May. <laughs> not that James May. Yeah. Whenever I watch Tiago, it seems he has a very strong, specific taste. So I actually give him slightly less credibility for less biased opinions, hmm. even though at first. It was a little of a draw. Mm. And I think it's, you know, in some ways, if you know what the person already feels about certain things, yeah, yeah. like, oh, okay, I already know you're not going to like this or you're yeah. already going to like it, right? Right. Uh, let's see. BDD Builds says, for yeah. many land members, reviewing Lego sets and producing content is their full-time job. Right. I couldn't imagine how draining it must be to have to work a separate full-time job and then have to build slash review sets for the land program on top of that while also building being a spouse and a parent and I am in agreement with you guys regarding Lego review videos they will there will be so many reviews the same exact set released at the same exact time mm -hmm. and they all sound the same yeah I personally can look at the pictures on Lego's website and come to a conclusion on my own whether or not I'm gonna get a set and don't need a person who's got the set for free to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> One point. of the reasons I enjoy channels like yours and Brixie's is the oh, fact Brixie. that you guys do more than just review the sets. And I definitely prefer Jang Brick's reviews over land members mm -hmm. since he buys the sets himself. I like how in Jang's uh, title too, it says my completely 100% independent <laughs> review. <laughs> I was like, hey, that's good. Good for him. Um, I, I, I appreciate what you said earlier because... It is, I'm a, bit, I'm a busy person. I, I have my full-time job. It's very demanding. Yes, I have kids. I'm still raising, kind of raising, um, and uh, the hobby. And yes, when land sets is an additional load or workload on that. But I did apply. I did ask for it. Are you, you okay? There's something about the drink. It makes me cough. Yeah, there, there's some sort of it's weird the element in there. I don't know. Um, but, Sorry. But no, I think... Um, <laughs> I don't have another drink. <laughs> but you have water? Did you bring your water? No, I didn't. Dude, I have to tell you, man. I've been going for two hours. With but no, very, very good content, or co comment, I should say, <laughs> on, on that. I do appreciate that. And uh, I, always, I always appreciate uh, people saying, like, wow, it is, you know, like, recognizing that it is yeah. quite the effort because we don't just magically have these videos produced. There's a lot of production in them. You know, mm -hmm. like yours, I know there's a lot of editing. I'm, like, looking at your videos, like, wow, that's a lot of work like because you're always on these weird locations too you're, oh. <laughs> you're on vacation you're doing videos i'm like that yeah. is dedication i don't know if i could do that man i get too nervous about having my lego outside yeah you know and, and carrying it around or losing a piece or misplacing it or somebody kifing it you know i'd be like ah yeah. um but uh anyway I, um, I, <laughs> speaking of that you know last week we talked about the yeah. oswald at disneyland yeah there were yeah. a few people i could hear in the background 
that guy has a Lego Oswald. <laughs> and I wonder how many people went to the Lego store at Disney oh. asking, where's that Lego <laughs> Oswald set? I saw a guy with one, and he had it in a Lego bag. Where is this? Yeah. I'll pay anything. Yeah. Um, if you like reviews where people have paid for it, you can watch mine. I've bought all of my reviews. Other than the fantasy. But, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. Um, so he gets free stuff, too. Yeah. Um, you know that calendar? This is what I was going to tell you. That calendar that I reviewed? Oh, yeah. You know, I... That's what I try to look for is sets that I don't think are going to get covered. Mm -hmm. So that New Year's uh, Chinese New Year oh, yeah. calendar, it's my fifth most watched video ever. Amazing. I know. It's not. I know it's not a lot of videos for huh. you, but for me, it that's is. a lot. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Uh, blamers. Blamers. Is it blamers? I guess blamers. Blamers. Right here. Blamers. Yeah. Someone blamers. going to say what the heck Lan is. Okay, I will read this because there is a reply, and we would like to apologize. Sorry. Um, I said I responded to this because I realized oh, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, we 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 suck. <laughs> um, it's the Lego Ambassador Network. It's a community of content creators officially recognized by Lego. They do various things, but one of the biggest is they're sent sets by Lego for early review content to be made. Is very that, well said. Is that okay? I want to make sure fair. it was approved by the LAN. So. I'm Alex News, and I approve that response. Yeah. We will try to be better and not use acronyms. But uh, let's see. So, Brick Trains, we know that guy. Hey, Brick Trains. What, what, do, what do we know about that guy? Nothing. I think he likes trains. I'm afraid of Lego. Yeah, he's got that Lego phobia. <laughs> So he says, Jimmy Draws is great. Just not IP stuff. Batman logo would be a giveaway. Hmm, maybe. I guess I I've never tested Jimmy's drawing skills, but we can give that a shot. You know, know, next time I get, like, I have, let's see. That comes up more in this topic, by the way. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah, you'll see. Um, and then we can talk about that. Uh, he also said another comment, as a non and never to be land member, <laughs> land fatigue is real. Mm. Jason said it very well. Good for Lego, but up to you if it's good for you, Alex. Mm. Even though I follow a lot of land members, Alex, you are one of the few that I actually consume the content. Mm. That is mostly because I have been following you before your uh, land yeah. base. Mm -hmm. And Mardi Gras Man says, Alex, oh, agree 100%. It's Alex only. Yeah, man. Woo, you got it. Uh, Still Saber <laughs> says, it doesn't matter if the Lego company makes their products biodegradable or edible. It's the prices of the products that need fixing, not the plastics. I don't <laughs> they care. They fix their prices all right. <laughs> I don't care if the Lego company makes the plastic explode. If they come in contact with an electrical charge like C4, if Lego wants their products to be sold, make them more affordable price range. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know, man. And Hoarder66 said, never knew I needed Lego C4 till now. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, Jimg? Is that what that is? Jimg7508? Jimg. Jimg. Alex's face when he talked about how many subscribers that YouTube had with had was just hilarious. Um, was that Tiago? When I saw oh, he had probably, over 500? Yeah, that's probably what we're talking about. Oh, okay. About that 500,000! Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be it. Sometimes it takes a minute to figure out what we were talking about. Uh, Moments of the Magic. Honestly, hey. as someone who is trying to get into LAN, that annoys me because he is probably going to get into LAN without question. Oh, the guy that's yeah. uh, James May, right? Yeah. 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 You know he Which is. is. Do you know what's funny about that? Mm -hmm. They can't, when they're Lego employees, they can't have any social media, or at least that references mm -hmm. any Lego. Yeah. But... Then it's like, oh, yeah, we'll have you in now. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, Brickstar, or Brickstar, as you know him. Brickstar. YouTubers as Napoleon Dynamite characters. I am Uncle Rico. <laughs> we have a response by one Alex Noons. Back in 82, I could throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Back in 82. We just throw pigs. Are you serious? If you would just put me in, we would have gone to state. I'd be soaking I'd up. I'd gone pro. <laughs> soaking it up. Wait, wait, Hot let me finish the... My we'll, soul, man. I'll finish this All and right, then we will go. Sorry, there's more comments on this. To which a <laughs> Jason's Brixen 5 said, does this mean you sell knockoff Tupperware from your van? 
To which Alex Nunes replies, so how are you feeling about this 42-piece set? <laughs> I should have said, I want that bow. I want that. <laughs> now, what's the guy's name? You seem like a really strong pup. Why don't you try giving that a tear? And he's like, Terry, you can't he's do so it. He's so embarrassed. Like, and, his, and his wife's like, she's so ashamed. Like, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, Napoleon Dynamite is an awesome It's awesome a great, show. great uh, Chris Cummings replied cool to this, I found an Xbox in a dumpster over the weekend. Still haven't checked it out. It was there with lots of personal stuff. Like maybe someone kicked out their <laughs> significant other. If I had a van, it would be full of too much junk that I find. Uh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, someone had a bad day. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see, One Clever Pig says, I love the food segment today. Boom! Very intriguing. <laughs> If okay. I saw Dr. Pepper Peeps, oh, and this one I thought of too. I think I might have said this to you. Also, they should have called them Dr. Dr. Peepers. Peeper. <laughs> but that has kind of a negative that's, connotation. That's like Dr. Peeper. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know about Didn't that. Didn't he go to jail? <laughs> that is some low-hanging fruit if I ever seen it. <laughs> I'd be like Jason. They're going in the cart instantly, just out of pure morbid curiosity. But yeah, Peeps are terrible. Yeah. I have to tell you, I bought another pack. Oh, when boy. we went to my dad's, when I was at a Walmart, I bought one because I'm like, oh, they got to try these. Yikes. I was checking out and it was this older lady. She was probably, I say older, she's probably not much older than us, but <laughs> she's there. She's like, have you had these? I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to give them for my dad. Oh, these are so good. You, you got to try them. I'm like, really? Yeah, I, I've had them. I'm yeah. already buying them. You sold me. You don't need to sell them. <laughs> you should <laughs> Somebody get said, some more. I was like, Here you go. <laughs> like she was going on about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I know. I, yeah, they, they were good. Uh, let's see. Brickstar also says... Brickstar. Uh, oh, wait. We skipped one. We skipped a one. It's still Brickstar, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have way too much stability with my job, and it's way too easy mm. to trade it to be something that's unpredictable mm. and hard. I'd rather watch this content here than land reviews. Mm. I watched Tiago until he became a land member, oh. and I lost interest. Mm. Why aren't there more people making videos talking about Lego without annoying music in the background and unneeded quick edits? If only there was a podcast out yeah, there. Yeah, if only. I know. What if... Maybe we, we should Maybe. do that. You think people would even watch it? No. <laughs> I already know they wouldn't. What if we did weird things like Eat drink <laughs> weird sodas? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to cough this time. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, he has another mm. comment. I fixed the problem of seeing the same image over and over at the same time. Unfollow. I like original content, not reposts. Click. Uh, well, wait a second. Uh, what about the response to the response to the response? I, I don't know if I agree with that comment. What do you think? No comment. <laughs> I have no comment on the comments. But those are some of my favorite things. Oh, wait, I do have a comment on the comments. You do have a comment, because Alex replied, simple and effective. Simple. Yes. It's no, but right. I understand what he's saying. You yeah. know, if... But no, he's right. He has a point. Like, just, you, you, you don't you want to select it. your favorite land member, so the one that to... has, like, your same kind of, like, feelings and thoughts about what they collect with Lego, oh. and you're good to go. And that can change, right? Like, over, like, you talked about it, geez, it's been a number of months, but... You saw a video, it was like a Screen Rant Reacts or something, and you're like, oh, I like this, and you followed, and then you started getting other stuff. Mm -hmm. So you had to yeah. make a decision, well, maybe this isn't really what I want to Yeah, watch. yep. So, uh, Shape of Soup. I don't, shape of what soup. is the Shape of Soup? Do you know? Same as the Shape of Water. <laughs> Which is? In, in the uh, movie? The Shape of the Soda is... Anyway. Hey. Uh, hee hee, love young Frankenstein. Yes, got it. Also, okay, no cream. Oh yeah, name um, that movie. That one, I, I I saw that comment. Yeah, I did too. And do you know it? No, I don't either. Uh oh. Well, this is yeah. awkward. Well, look it up. All right. Okay. Should no we edit cream. this part up? Just to make ourselves look smart. Yeah. Of course we know. Oh. <laughs> Super Troopers. Oh, I haven't seen Super <laughs> Troopers. I've seen it. It's uh, okay. it's funny. Okay, I know, I know of it, but I haven't seen it. So that okay, no okay. cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I got the eagles. Okay, okay, continue. Pasta Jensen. Hey. First time I've heard about Peeps. 
Over here, the main thing is bunny-shaped chocolate. Okay. We have plenty Sharp, of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cream-filled chocolate eggs. I, th I assume we're talking like a Cadbury egg type thing. Yeah. Uh, and this is in Austria. And in my old home country, it's chocolate-covered mar marzipan eggs. Oh. Do you like marzipan? I don't know what that is. It's almond paste. Oh, probably not if it's almond paste. Oh, it's sweet. I'm sure it is, but I've never had it. Oh, well. I don't, I guess Maybe I we'll have to try that sometime. Jeez, here we go. They, they have it locally, I know, somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, I do not eat candy anymore, but I would not say no to a marzipan egg for Easter. Not sure if I will find that in Dubai as I'm going there for work for a few weeks. Wow, no kidding. Wow. Dang. Enjoy that. Take your uh, Lego passport and get it stamped. Y yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joe Bowling. Hey, Joe. What's up, man? Let's see. Oh, this is a longer one. Okay. Oh, we don't have time to read <laughs> all that. Get... No, this isn't the longest one. I think there's one longer. Oh. Uh, but when we get these, I always think of Earl. <laughs> Sometimes in the A-Fool, I want to just write the longest comment <laughs> just to make him read it. <laughs> Anyway, and I'm just going on and like at the very end, and I'm just going on and on to hear Earl read this. <laughs> Anyways, Joe Bowling says, I get the land fatigue. I started following several land members because I was interested in set reviews, mm. but it doesn't take too long to see that they're pretty much the same. Mm. Tiago used to do the do videos with cool build yeah. techniques, but his channel is almost all reviews now. But I make a point to watch Alex's review videos because Alex is the land member closest to me in age. Oh, okay. So he's older than everyone in the land. I knew that you was going. I knew he was going to say that. Did you find out if there's someone older? I, I didn't ask. Let me start. Let me start. Like, hey, is anybody here from the seventies? Uh, the seventies? Isn't that when things were still black and white? <laughs> Oh, you mean wooden Lego? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I'm still older than both of you. And inter uh, let's see. Closest to me in age and interest. Uh, and then yeah. he lists race cars, castles, eating, hey. and space. <laughs> see? Space. Eating. 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 Yes. <laughs> and very honest about what he thinks is good or bad. Also, Alex is open about asking for feedback and reporting it back to Lego. And I feel like he's paying attention to what people say while I don't sense that other YouTubers are very responsive. Huh. And I like Jason's reviews because I know any Lego set he's reviewing is one he's paid for himself because he wanted the set and not just yep, something yep, yep. to make a YouTube video out of. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not 100% true. I bought the Spider-Man set because I was curious. I didn't want it, and I didn't, you know. I, but for the most part, and that's... I, that's actually something I struggle with because I review the sets I've bought mm -hmm. and I generally buy something I want to build. Mm -hmm. So it's very rare that I build a set and review it and I'm like, yeah, this isn't really great. I had that mission set and I only bought it because it was on sale and it had some animals in it and, yeah. and it was on clearance. But And I gave that one a pretty bad review. Mm. And I think some people were upset because they're like, it's for kids. I'm like, I know, but for me, it wasn't any fun. I didn't want to look at an app to tell me how to half build a car that's not finished. Mm. I didn't like it. Yeah. But that's the problem I have with my, you know, I don't get sent a stunt set where I'm like, yeah, this isn't really, I don't know if that makes sense. You know, I find that I'm getting more aggressive on declining offers now. Are you? Yeah. I even declined so one are you yesterday. Just, basically, are you looking and being like, yeah, I don't want that, so you don't review it? Because mm -hmm. the, the concern I would have is kind of like the point I just made. If you only are getting sets that you pretty much know you're going to like, are you going to fall into what the other people, you know, they... I'm not saying you're not being honest, but if you're not like the Hulkbuster, you know, you you weren't all rainbows and unicorns about it, right? You were like, there's problems with this set. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's, I guess, kind of the point. Like, are you, would you be concerned that people will be like, oh, he's just like these others. He just says only good things about it because you're only reviewing sets you like. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, well, here, here's a, um, take this for example. Uh, I'm, I'm still receiving sets. I mean, yeah. I'm, I, like that, that technic load, I, there were sets that I wanted in there. That's why I accepted it. But I knew I was going to be reviewing sets that I wouldn't really, I didn't really care for. Yeah. Um, I still reviewed them and, you know, whatever. But, uh, and you could tell I'm not super excited about them in my review. <laughs> uh, but uh, there are sets that you can request from LEGO for review. And these are sets that are released. 
So they've already had their initial like draw, like, oh, this is so cool. Like for example, the, let, let's let's say the, uh, well, oh, well this, you had that. <laughs> Sorry. But, but no, let's talk about like this, it's just a big set, that's all. But yeah. there's something I'm more excited about than this and that is the, um, the medieval town hall or town square, whatever it's called. Yeah. I the really like that set. set. What? The Great Goat Set. The Great set. Goat Set. The Great Goat Set. I'm going to order that uh, as a request from Lego for review, which means I do not pay for it. But I want it. Um, and I'm probably going to give it a glorious review. Right? Yeah. Um, so does that taint it? Because I got it from them for free? No. I, I mean, but that's, that's kind of... And that's not really the angle I was saying. Mm -hmm. You know, I just... Like, that's the... That's what I see people say in your reviews. They mm -hmm. feel like you're honest. And some of those things are you will say, mm -hmm. this set is not worth the money. I don't like it. Yeah. And if you're only getting sets you like, you're less likely to say negative yeah. things about it. And no, so I, I get you. That no, that, that's true. You're change. true. Yeah, absolutely. It does. So, uh, I think that's just the human nature. But I, I think I should clarify. When I'm seeing a set that I'm going to get and I can figure out what it is mm -hmm. and it's nothing that's special. When I say special, I mean large. Like if it's just some like podunk off brand, not off brand, but like um, a $35 set, that's Disney Pixar. That's what this one was. Okay. I was like, I'm good because I'm not interested in that set and it's a one-off and it's small. Yeah. Now, if I got something that says Disney Pixar, $400 set, 4,000 piece set, this is intriguing. Okay, this is a big set because that's what I want to share with like Lego um, Fan, like adult fans of Lego. What are the big sets coming out? Is this worth it? So that's where I want to say, like, this is my opinion of the set. Like the Batman set. That was a big set, $300. And I found out, like, oh, that's something I wanted. It's something I would buy. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But when I got it, I'm like, this is actually a pretty impressive set. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, to your point, though, like the Hulkbuster, if I found out about that set, uh, and I didn't know what I was getting before I got that. I didn't know how to like look things up before. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, okay, I, I have little ways to figure this out now. And I was getting that. But like, oh, I I didn't I'll care. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, you're, you're, you're I the connection now, you. right? But I would be like, oh, um, I wouldn't. Uh, I'm not really interested in in like the Hulkbuster, but uh, this is a big set. This is, has piqued my curiosity, yeah. and because it's big, that's what the draw is for me because it's a big set. Uh, so then that's why that, that's kind of like, uh, my approach to, uh, to reviews on being able to say, is this something that's worth your money? Cause something that's like 35 bucks, yay, whatever, you know, but if it's something that's like a, f a premium Lego set, is it worth your money to buy? That's like, that's the, the, the value that I want to add on these reviews for the big sets. So this is what I would say in response to that. Cause I understand you know, those are the ones that are going to draw a lot of people. Avengers Tower, I want to see, you know, mm -hmm. what people think about that. I get right. that. But, for example, that Chinese calendar I was talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a small set. It wasn't covered. And it was inexpensive. Yeah. It's like, it's a weird right. price, like twenty four ninety two. Yeah. So that's the one thing I would, I would counter your argument with mm -hmm. is you, could you be potentially missing out on some audience because... People already know they're not going to buy Avengers Tower because it's five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. four fifty, whatever. Right. But there's plenty of people that they'll buy sets under a hundred dollars, and maybe that's where they would see some value. Yeah. Right. And and I am not saying you should do those, but it's just something to think about. Because... No, it's good. It's it's actually really good. Um, and, and you're right about like the audience, but at the same time, um, I'm uh, going to admit that I'm a little selfish on what I'm getting from them. I want to get sets that I want to keep. I don't want to get sets that I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I got to find someone to give this away to, you know, part which is not what is your collection? I'm not going to part these out. I have too many parts. Like I, I'm bursting at the seams with Legos. It's just so, I have nowhere to put them, right? Is my problem. Well, that's what happens when you buy 18,000 pieces on Bricklink. Well, those are going out the door. Not, not, not at least oh. 12 of them. Yeah, you're right. you're not wrong there. Yeah, absolutely, moo cow. But uh, but no, it's it's an interesting dynamic um, because and, and it's an interesting position to be in of being able to pick and choose. Yeah. You know, um, now I don't de decline a lot. I'm not like going no, no, no. Most of the time, overwhelming majority of the time, I do. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, even though it looks like something like I wouldn't buy this. It's a small set, but I'll take it anyway. You know, I'll do review. Yeah. So I like to keep that alive. Like this, the, that's why I subscribe to the city sets. I recommend like, oh yeah, send me city sets. I'm not buy, adding anything to my city. It's impossible. But I like to see what new sets they're coming out with, yeah. and those have actually done pretty well. 
on my channel. And I did the fire sets, the the space sets. Space. And, well, and but some like of those, like for example, the ice cream, you know, you were able to take parts of that and add to your mod. Yeah, yeah right. And you're right. So, so yeah, there 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 is that's like where uh, I can, and, yeah. and that was, I guess, my thought. You know, part some of it out, use it in different things. But. No, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You're not wrong. Yeah. This is good stuff. Um, okay, we've cut off Joe's last. Sorry comment. about he that. He says. And one last thing related to the new Batman set. I've seen multiple land member videos reviewing the new Lego house exclusive set that I'll never be able to get. Mm. But the only video review I've seen of the Batman set is the awesome video Alex and Mindy did that took me from thinking I'd never buy that set to at least thinking about it. Yeah, that's interesting. I got that comment from a number of people. Um, that said they had absolutely no interest in it, but after watching our review and Mindy's, specifically citing Mindy's enthusiasm for it, mm -hmm. it changed their mind. I thought, wow. So um, apparently Mindy needs to be the Lego ambassador, not me. No. <laughs> <laughs> she does have great enthusiasm, though. Yes. Uh, it's great. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's not... It's not... not that guy again. What is going on there? Okay, um... What has happened here? Sorry, the comments went out of order. Okay, Karsten Temple says, I just got back from a weekend in Billen mm. with the family. Picked up my pirate mm. and pack of six bricks in their paper bag. <laughs> but interesting, <laughs> the Duplo bricks still come in plastic bags. I guess they'll change that when they're good and ready. <laughs> so selective. Yes. Very selective on there. Uh, shape of Soup. Peeps are okay, but nothing special. Eh. Try the Dr. Pepper. Eh. Rob Lyons, I think it's cheaper to live in Portugal than in the U.S., especially here in Canada. And that probably helps Tiago you go full-time on YouTube. I've seen that uh, a couple of comments that are similar to that. Because I, have heard I think it's more Portugal challenging to go a full-time content creator in the States uh, just because of the dynamic. Um, so where you live, the economics of where you live, I think, play a part. Taxes play a part. Um, you know, we had the Affordable Care Act that plays a part in our well, inability to take care of a... I think what we've clearly learned, if you want to be a full-time content creator and you need Lego to make content, move down by Earl because that's where all the deals are. Apparently so. Jeez. So I've heard. Uh, let's see. Rob Lyons also says, for honest reviews, I like Alex's, Tiago, and Jang. You guys give honest reviews. Oh, thank you. That's, and, a, that's an honor to be named among those guys. Yeah. And one more uh, from Robbie says, one of these LAN girls has less subscribers than you, Jason. You should also get in. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get in, honestly. Yeah, you know what? It sucks. I mean, there's something... <laughs> no, yeah. It's sure. Fine. I'm sure. It's just different. Um, Mikey J Productions, I think Jason hit the nail on the head pretty well in regards to LAN fatigue. Mm -hmm. I will say this. You are one of the few land members that I still watch and have respect for. Oh, thank you. You were here long before land, so I respect ah. you as a content creator and Lego fan for that reason. Thanks, Becky J. Yes, and that's essentially what you responded. Uh, you, thank you. You responded on that comment. Hey. Mardi Gras Man 23. Dang, Josh is 17. Mm. One more year, and you will have a new Lego room. That will be perfect for the Lego castle layout. Ooh. That ain't happening. Well, if I ever do get him kicked out of here, that's exactly what's going to happen in there. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Thanks. Rob Lyons, I've got Rob. no idea what a peep is. I'm not sure that they have them in Canada. I'm Don't also over peep. 50, so not looking for them. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you told him he's better off not knowing. Uh, Hoarder66, his idea about drawing is a really good idea. I yeah. wonder if Lego would let it happen. Did you ask? What I you didn't mean? ask oh. yet. Sorry. Okay. Bricks on an Island... Uh, there's a timestamp, but he said, I don't know what it was, but he says, Alex, oh boy, all right, pause. Why do we do this? Jason, because it's content. Me in front of the screen loudly. Though Alex and Jason can't hear me, premium content. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> premium content right here. <laughs> okay, I learned a lot about American culture tonight. Peep. Peep. And then you had replied, nothing but the best, right? Nah. And he said, yes, absolutely. It's like we grew up with so many things that came into Europe from the U.S., like sweets, Coke, cartoons, <laughs> superheroes, <laughs> sitcoms, Star Trek. And then there's this other thing that we just, or I, passed out on completely. 
like Peeps and Dr. Pepper. And Dr. Dr. Pepper, Pepper Peeps. Peeps. Yeah. And then he says, P.S. I just checked for fun if I could order Dr. Pepper Peeps via Amazon. I can't. They're only oh. they're not available for delivery in Germany. Ah, uh, sorry. Darn it. You are missing You're... out, and I feel bad for you. Uh, Mardi Gras Man 23. The drawing is an excellent idea. I think grab the whole gang, Jimmy, Mindy, Tanya, and Jason, and play a game. Mm. I left Josh out because he's 17. <laughs> and you said Josh is too cool now. He's too cool, yeah. Uh, Kenneth Demiranda. Demiranda. Okay. Kenneth D. Miranda, 8869. Sorry. I think James May from Top Gear and the Grand Tour actually did design oh, the yeah. Lego build. Yeah, it was a massive Didn't house. Didn't he build a life-size one-by-one yeah. Lego house? Yeah, I yep. remember seeing that. Uh, Mardi Gras Man 23, peeps suck. Sweet tarts rule. I like sweet tarts. We have another comment by Mardi Gras Man. Peeps suck, sweet tarts rule. <laughs> so I don't know if he did that on purpose or not. Sounds familiar. It didn't take. Well, he just wanted to emphasize. The moderator it. blocked the word sex or something. I don't know. Alex, gotta agree. Sweet tarts rule. Uh, Mardi Gras Man also says You start releasing the sponsor video as shorts. Start with the first one from way back when. Yeah, well, you've used idea. them because you've I've, done a I've done a short of, 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 the, um, one, of one of them at least. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've done not a short, but a collection. Well, I've done a short. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I've done a couple of like, yeah, the first 10 and then yeah. the next 10. Yeah. Nobody um, watches them though. I know. My wife was like, you should do shorts about these. And I think there might have been a comment about it. And I'm like, people don't watch it. Uh, came in 1615. Always interested in hearing your opinion, Alex. Even though land members all get the same set, it's really the opinion of the person behind the camera that people come for. Oh, uh, yeah. If you feel fatigued to doing reviews, I believe you can just build the live stream or do a mass review after building a bunch of them in a short video. Yeah, that's a good idea. In fact, I've been thinking about my approach to some of those, of uh, just combining them in sets, like the ones that I'm not really that excited about. Yeah. Um, I don't have to even open the box. I mean, I just, like, like if I wanted to do the Kawasaki in another video, I'm like, yeah, and here's the Kawasaki, it's set this way, it's whatever, releasing, and then that's it. That's considered a review, uh, which is interesting. But, um, but yeah. there's things like that that I'm kind of thinking of I don't know, maybe streamlining a little bit better, but that's no, good, good stuff. All right, so our next comment is from Krita. Hi, Krita. Uh, very good points regarding LAN. LAN fatigue is real, it's particularly real. for the large number of same, same content creators being accepted into LAN. I'm not going to name names, but these are the people who are full-time content creators, which irks me because their hmm. content is lacking and repetitive. And oh. all apply for the same sets and produce the same content. As you know, this year there's a, a particular focus on space, vehicles, and dreams. Yeah, there have been, yeah, right. Um, I'm not seeing as much content regarding these focus areas. Instead, I'm seeing more pop culture type reveals and reviews such as the Batman and D&D. &D, yeah, you're right. Because mm -hmm. they will drive more views slash likes. I'm surprised Lego slash LAN isn't pushing creators to create more content based on their marketing plans. The other thing that irks me, sorry, it goes on. The other thing that irks me is... <laughs> That's a price by some, gears. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is one Earl would hate. Uh, the other thing <laughs> yeah, that irks right. me is how some of these content creators fake an interest in some things, such as Batman and D&D. &D. Ooh. Are they talking about you? Do Probably you talking about me. Do I fake an interest in Batman? Uh, no, you don't seem interested. <laughs> uh, just to connect with their audience. It was obvious the other day watching a review of the D&D &D set, knowing full well the creator had no idea about D&D. &D. Mm. Some other foresight on some sets to be released this year, I can already predict which sets will have a large take of view, review applications. The other way to solve this is to limit the number of particular sets being made available and being made available to a relevant reviewer. Mm -hmm. E.g., Mr. Noons has a Lego City, this would be the perfect candidate for the next modular. Which is funny because the first modular you got, they didn't tell you. Remember? No, like they that didn't. was a thing, and I was, was like, weird. "How did they not know?" Like it didn't really look like odd. they were going to send it to you. you. See, I don't so. think there, there's a lot in there, credit. Let me try yes. to let me try to like uh, pack that down here a little bit. Uh, when it comes to Lego, like sending out specific sets, like or themes, let's say, we all have a chance to tell Lego what themes we're interested in to review. And I put City in there, and I want to say and that, that you not list at the front of the at the first of the year, right? Yes. Like they don't ask you throughout the year. No. We're coming out with it's the once a year. Star Wars Vinod, or do you want it? Right. Like it's you've already marked your things, and mm -hmm. then they tell you we're going to send you the 
city so that city yes. says, and you say yes or no. Right, exactly. Okay. So I wonder if may, maybe some others are getting those offers too of city no. sets, but saying, no, I don't want those because I don't want to, they, they want the big sets that draw the audience in to get the views. I mean, I, what... I think that that's probably a very astute point. I mean, do you... Did you get a lot of views on your stunt sets? I know I know no. we make fun of that, but no, not really. Well, and I think that's why they it, sent it to you because yeah, not a lot of people probably signed up and wanted to do that. I don't see a lot of city reviews. No, they're not. And not so a lot. that's probably why they send you those. You know, I wonder if that's why my city because um, I did I did those uh, fire sets mm -hmm. at the end of the year. I also yeah. did what else did I do at the end of the year? Um, there were some. Uh, uh, the ocean sets. There was like that like Arctic, the Arctic Explorers sets and things like that. that. In the summer. And yeah. there was something else with City that did really, really well. And I'm like, wow, they did like very, very well for my performance anyway on my I channel. Bet. I don't remember seeing a lot of people reviewing those Arctic Explorers. And Explorer I think that's probably sets. why is because there was I was yeah. the only one that had those. So that I think proves your point, Greta. As far as you know, like why doesn't Lego push that out more? Maybe it they are trying to, but perhaps Lego ambassadors are saying, nah. Yeah. I'm good. I just want the big D and D set, even though I don't know anything about D and D. People are going to watch it because I know people like that and they'd be drawn to that. Yeah. So they'll get the, get the clicks, I guess. Yeah, I, I think that's very true. Well, but um, look, look, let's not, let's not kid ourselves. We we would love the clicks. We would love the views. We love the participation. We love the comments. We, I'm not going to argue against that absolutely. But um, and I, and I think we're in kind of like a good situation where, especially me, getting sets. Like, it doesn't matter if it does well or not. I got food on the table, yeah. right? We're all good. I, my bread and butter doesn't depend on the clicks. Yeah. So I get to review a set. That's kind of neat. Maybe I keep it. Maybe I don't. Yeah. A lot of these, I don't. The majority, I do actually track all the sets that I get from the land for review. Because and I track if I've donated or kept them in my collection. Because they don't let you sell them. I or... cannot sell them. I cannot get any kind of economical gain from them. I can give them away. You know, they were even, I want to say they were even specific about giving them away too. Um, like you can't do promotional items. Like you couldn't give them away as a giveaway on like the a prize or something. Yeah, because like that. that would give me economic gain. Because I would say, hey, I'm going to give these all away to you guys. I, I'll have to double check that. I don't That's know. That's interesting. Because I, um, I don't know. Yeah. So essentially your options are you can build it and put it in your city or right. you know, here. Which I'm always trying to do. You can yeah. part it out. Yes. Or like you've done. I think. Or mock something. Like yeah. you've recommended before, yeah. which is great. Well, and that's kind of essentially just parting it out, right? You're yeah, yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> you took the, the ice cream parts that you wanted and the rest probably, I'm guessing, went yeah. in bins. Uh, yes. Right. So, um, or I think you took a bunch last year. Didn't you have like, I don't know, like a sub for Santa or something like that? Yes. That, they had I, asked for that cleaned me out. And you're like, I gave them all used, away. They're but you can They're have all them used. Now. And I did, I told her, I, I kept some of the minifigs because I wanted to collect the minifigs. Yeah. So I did keep a few. I told her exactly what's missing. I had a little list. They were happy to take them though. You know, so it was, it so, worked out. It was a win win. <laughs> so maybe just a thought for you for that. Like if you get a line of stunt sets, like I know maybe I'm revealing secrets. I get the feeling that wasn't the most exciting set for you to review? Uh, no, I know you had the most fun exciting. doing it with Jimmy, but other than that, yeah. like it wasn't anything you planned on keeping, I had a feeling. No. Even no. from the outset. They were, they were fun sets, but so they didn't keep them. <laughs> maybe something you could do if they send you something like that where it's nine and you know it's geared towards kids and you're yeah. going to keep it. Right. Maybe you open one or two so you can see how those are and the rest you keep sealed and show them as part of the review because you don't have to open them evidently mm -hmm. is what it sounds like. And you can give those to the sub for Santa people. Sealed. A sealed set. There Just you go. Say, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know. Good. Um, there's, I, there's a lot said in there. Anything else? The other thing that was in here was talking about, you know, some of the some of the content people are creating was being kind of repetitive. Mm. And I will say, I will, I will defend them a little bit in that sometimes it is hard to come up with new yeah. content and a new way to, to create. You're not wrong, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I, I understand completely what you're saying about, you know, they all seem like the same, mm -hmm. and I get that part, but I mean, there's sometimes where you know you, I've got all kinds of ideas, and other times it's like I don't know what am I going to yeah. do with, with stuff. Right, right. So. right. Yeah, I think uh, no, I, th I think it comes down to um, just like finding the creator that you like the most that that has the most the, the same interests of Lego that you do, yeah. the same taste of Lego that you do, and you'll do pretty well. Yeah. Um, two or three. Uh, but if you're trying to subscribe to people, like 12 different people who are in the land, whether they're on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, 
uh, you're going to see a lot of repetition, right? Yeah. So uh, hopefully I'm doing what I can to keep your interest in you know our reviews. And yours are fun too because you, you buy your sets. You get the pan, the fun. fantasy sets. That's <laughs> not fun. The but, not but fun. at least I know. I know, well, I know but like it's, it's different. It hits different. So speaking of the fantasy sets, it's kind of funny because at first I was like, I don't know if I want to do these. Like, yeah. am I going to get a lot of hate or backlash about those? And and at you first, got some trolls. At, at first, there were a few. Like, yeah. why are we doing this? Yeah. You know, my whole thing behind it is, you know, yeah, they send it to me, and I, I don't tell anyone with the whether it's a Lego set or anything else. Like, you should buy this. Yeah. It's like it's mm -hmm. up to you to decide. I will tell you what I think about it. I think it's, you know, a fair value or whatever, but you have to make that decision, right? No, that's good, yeah. But no, like the that. fantasy sets, the one thing I like about those is it's just something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed the views have, and the one, the other thing is they're licensed. Like, like that was the big concern I had, you know, because there's, there's a bunch of companies out there that are stealing ideas or copying yes. things, you know, weapon type thing. Yes. And they, you know, so I just recently reviewed the Kung Fu Panda sets. Oh yeah, and they're smaller. They're meant, they're meant, you know. I think that's a more niche audience. But, yes, it is. Um, you know, the the thing about those is they they had a very big deal. Like there was a sticker on there showing it was a universal licensed product from you know the universal company, and then yeah. there's a plate on the back that said <laughs> DreamWorks printed. You know, so they wow, wanted yeah. to make sure that that was known. Yeah, they were legit. Yeah, right. So, they were just you know, and that's stuff. the thing I like about it. So. Yeah, um, but no, the the views I've gotten actually pretty good feedback, and a couple mm -hmm. people have bought them, and that's fine. I don't get any money out of them mm -hmm. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, right. But, um, you know, it's it's just been interesting to see, and you know, yeah, and I think, just, and you know what, I'll say this too. There's a lot of comments that I get. Well, not a lot, but there are a few, and they're like, oh, uh, and it goes something like this. Like um, I did a. Uh, when I did my Formula One car review, not not the McLaren. Oh, no, it was the McLaren. Is this the one in the gym where you did the pullback? No, no, no. This was or... the uh, the Ayrton Senna one. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And it, was, it had already been out several weeks. And I get this random comment saying, dude, are you like shilling for Lego or something? Like he thought I was just, because he hated the set. There were so many things that were wrong with it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, oh, you didn't even mention the orange nose. I'm like, orange nose? I didn't. The nose looked okay to me, so I didn't mention it. But he had a big, huge problem with it. So he kind of took it as me saying, like, I, accusing me of being paid by Lego to say wonderful things about it. But And that was more the more extreme example. But there are some things that people say, like, oh, you're only saying nice things about it. Or generally speaking, that land members say nice things about the Lego sets because we're getting them for free. Yeah. And, and people will say different things about um, getting these sets. Because we have to say, I got this from Lego free mm -hmm. of charge or something like that. But... Yeah. The review is our own, right? Now, generally speaking, I will say it's human nature when you get something for free to be nice. Yes. Yeah, it's it's human nature. Yeah. And I'm appreciative of the Lego uh, sets that I get. Uh, but at the end of the video, I try my best. And maybe I, I, I've struggled with this as of late. But, like, would I buy this with my own money? Yeah. Right? Yes or no? Is it good for you or not? And my recommendation. And it's hard because some people love it. Some people hate it. Um, and it's never going to be a set for everybody, depending on what's going on. Yep. And my taste is going to be different from your taste, just like that dude had a problem with the orange nose on the McLaren. You know, <laughs> I just weird stuff like that. So, um, but uh, but that it, it's it's hard because I, I want to be honest in the reviews, but I'll be. But I also will say like, man, I, Lego is very generous that they give me this big huge set yeah. for no charge. Because after decades of spending so much money on Lego. <laughs> And then finally getting to a point where I can get them from Lego for free is like literally a dream come true for me. Yeah. So you can't help but to think like, it's a great set, but at the same time, like, there's no way I'd buy this with my own money, you know, yeah. right? Like the D&D &D set, I would be thrilled if I got that from Lego. Now, I'm not a D&D &D player. I know of it. I'm somewhat similar or, or, or familiar, but if you were watching my review on the D&D, &D, I would be like, okay, Alex has, ha has no idea. Yeah how D D works or the intricacies or the details or character well, of this and that's stuff, where you know? um you know i think it would be helpful if you brought someone in that knew D D. yes you know kind of like with you know the disney castle when you brought yes you were my because, subject matter expert you know, yes i protected you from saying this is betty boop yes <laughs> <laughs> keep me from making a fool of myself no you're, you're well, absolutely it's hard right because there's so many different things you can't be an expert in everything yeah right, right. so yeah, but no, I would be like, oh, this is so cool. Look, and look at this cool dragon. Look at the cool tower. Ooh, you should buy it. It's 360 bucks. I got it for free. Yeah. There you go, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. and I think the thing that would be hard are like, 
you know, like that chest with the, you know, I think that's the gift with purchase, but the chest with yeah, the, the yeah. mouth and like uh -huh. the creatures, I wouldn't know what those are. Right. My son would know and he could, he would probably get all excited and, you know, so if I had it, I would definitely be like, you gotta, you gotta come and tell yes. us, or at least tell me so I don't look like a moron. Yeah. So, I mean, right. I already do, but a little less of a moron. More, we'll look more like a moron. We'll look like a less, less on. <laughs> we got, <laughs> Not a moron, a less on. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff out of that comment, so thank yes. you. Wow. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Moments of the Magic says, hey. Oh, your review was the only one I watched for the Batman set. Oh, thank you. Uh, and he put a reply, and yes, there was way too many reviews. Hmm. I like that set, though. Well, we know your wife did. Man, she was going crazy over it. My goodness, I don't know why. I'm like going, wow, she really likes this thing. Jeez. <laughs> she doesn't even watch Batman. No, she like, doesn't. That's the part that's funny to me. She just thought it was the neatest thing. She'd come in and look at it as I was building it in the office downstairs. She'd go, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. I can't, I can't wait for you to be done. I definitely want to review this with you. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you got it, hon. I love it when she's in my reviews. Yeah. It, it's just so much more fun with her. Uh, yeah, anyway. But no, that's, that, that set did it impress me, you know. No. So yeah, anyway. All right, uh, Ron Valance, 5425, hey, says Ron. you are right. There are too many LEGO reviewers, especially yeah. when they review every single new set. I enjoy watching YouTubers who build mocks and work on their LEGO city. Hey, I kind of do that too. You know what, hold on a second. A thought came into my mind. Uh -oh. I don't think it's gonna get any, I was gonna say it's not gonna get any better. There, what, I want, what I mean by that is that Lego is ready to ramp up the LAN. I think they're going to ramp it up. They are going to be adding more LAN members all over the world. And I think they're pushing for people outside, outside the States. Outside of the U.S. Um, well, that's kind of what yeah. uh, Jordan alluded to when we yeah. interviewed him. You know, like, he kind of, he didn't say it in so many words, but we're not really looking in the U.S. Yeah. But if yeah. we have someone in Vietnam, we would love to have them. Yeah. Or, you know, and, different and different, and different platforms, too. So, I mean, if, if you ha if you're not, a, you don't have to be a YouTuber for it. Like, there's people on Insta, um, and I, oh, there's even a guy local here in Utah, TJ Bricks, yeah. who's, who's new to the land and who's on TikTok, right? Yeah. So, um, and yeah, you know what I find funny? Yeah. So, I've, I've seen some that they are very successful. Like, there's one I know of that I think he does really good Instagram reels and they're just funny little things. Yeah, and he does some videos on YouTube and I don't think they get as many views as mine <laughs> Like there's nothing wrong with the videos, right. but it's just funny because mm. his audience is driven to right. that Platform right, you know, and and he does some things on there to cover but you can't do the same review mm -hmm. In a 60 second reel. Yeah, you can in a five minute or oh so true. Review. Yeah, so. you know I, my hats off to those guys who can do these 20 second videos. I can't yeah. do that. I just, I'm long winded. I mean, look at this we video. We didn't know. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Um, by the way, Jabo's going to love this episode. And last week, I'm See, sure. Look at us go on the last April. Yeah, I he saw said, that. I love how, I love it when they go long. So we're going long. This is for you, Jabo. <laughs> uh, Matthew he's, Hartle. He's probably asleep. <laughs> All right. He drives. He oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> So hopefully he's not hopefully sleeping. He's not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, Matthew Hartle says, I used to buy clearance peeps at the end of Easter and turn them around for resale during the summer and fall for outrageous prices. I once sold a tray of peeps, 12 count yellow bunnies, for $56. <laughs> what? And he probably paid 56 cents if it was on clearance. That is right? insane. That is too funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> brightest witch bricks says LAN okay. adjacent. I'm using that. LAN adjacent. Well, you're 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 commenting, so you're LAN adjacent. LAN adjacent. adjacent? I don't know. Adjacent to the LAN adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dana Farron. Hi, says, Dana. I feel many LAN members just say everything is great hmm. and are unable to be more critical, hmm. more honest, more real, and you are. That is why I would rather watch your review complete compared to uh, others. Also. Uh, even bigger reviewers. The other bigger reviewers whom I watch as much as you is Jang, who oh, yeah. is not in the land, right. mm -hmm. but just has a very enjoyable way of doing his reviews. Mm -hmm. When I think he has made that conscious decision, he's not mm -hmm. going to do land because mm -hmm. he wants to be totally yeah. independent. Yep. So, um, Brick Templar 
says land okay. fatigue is real. I, th I think I'm noticing we're, a we're theme. Get, yeah, yeah. We're, How do you guys really feel? Tell us how uh, you really feel about <laughs> land fatigue. Those YouTubers who had nice creative videos are now on the clock to pump out the next review. Mm. And they're absolutely the same, starting with from uploading designer videos and then to dis uh, dissimilar, dissimilar reviews. Yeah. I simply stopped watching this. Mm. I'd rather go to Jang, m &R, Holly, and Jeremy Herbert if I want a nice, independent, and creative review. Brixie got banned, and the quality of his videos returned to how it had been, a blessing in disguise. Is that right? Um, really? Well, you know, he was suspended. I know he's suspended, but, but he's making it sound like it got better on his channel because I mean, he's, not like. in, he's not getting land sets. No. I, I, I mean, I know a lot of his videos recently I've seen. I mean, I don't watch every single one, I'll be honest. But uh, I know he's now got a big warehouse. Warehouse he's going to yeah. build and have the, yeah. the studio and the city in there. Insane, so. man. That's what you need to That's, do. Well, mine's going to be my bad. I, I, I don't like <laughs> I how... Like the A Fool podcast ma mentioned this. Yeah, they were talking I about it. I don't like the feeling of my collection being off-site somewhere. Yeah. Like that makes me feel very uncomfortable. Um, I just had a couple sets at the Taylorsville Brick, uh, Bricks yeah, and Minifigs for a few weeks, you know? I know, and I missed them. Some people went out just to see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but I, I, so what I would, my dream, and I, I don't know if I've officially ever said this on camera. I think we talked and, about it once. But. but I would put it in my backyard. Uh, I would create like not a warehouse, but a garage type facility in my backyard. There's enough room back there. Take out a bunch of that worthless grass and put in a very nice so, facility. Time out. I'm, I'm oh, going to use a time out here. So you've always said the reason you get the whole basement is because your wife gets the gardening in the yard. So now you're going to encroach on our gardening space with more Lego. You know, I never thought about it that way. But I, it, right. I never did until you just said that. I'm like, do you, I don't do you, think this is a good that, plan. Babe? babe, how do you feel about that? Is that okay? I think she'd be fine. Um, I'll, I'll speak for her here. But hey, it's it's a it's kind of a pipe dream right well, now. Uh, but the basement would become something different. You're not going to leave the city. I would actually that. no, I wouldn't. The basement would actually. So we would actually use our house as a house. What? I know. Boom. Right. But yeah, we put like a football table a down couch. there, a couch or two. Earl, a couch in my basement. Can you believe that? Oh man! But no, that's that's what I would do. Because um, then it's it's on my property, yeah. and and yeah, it's it's I use it for my. It would be my studio, and yeah. just like well, and how I talked I, about, like I wouldn't. Like, I, it might have been Earl that said I wouldn't want to well, get in my car and drive ten minutes to go. You know, I'm gonna go. No, play with no my way. Lego. <laughs> and, and there's nothing somewhere. here that would be even. Close. I just feel really uncomfortable doing that. Uh, not to mention, with it being off-site, the amount of dirt and dust yeah. that would potentially go in there, and just the cleaning, is an, it sounds like a nightmare to me. So the one thing I would say, though, that I think is different for his situation than yours is he's going off to his job, right? That's his job, yeah. He's going to the office. Job. Yep. And so maybe that's a better way to disconnect yes. from the job. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you no, he's, home, you know a little bit about how that is, right? I mean, I yeah, do. Yeah, well, right. Um, so. But no, and the, I think um, the tax situation is a little is is unique as well, yeah. uh, because here in the states it's different. Because we can we can write off parts of our home, like like this studio here. I use this one hundred percent for my YouTube. It is not used for any kind of personal reason or being a house, so I am able to write this off on taxes. If I have a a, a facility in the back. That is my studio that I record out there. If it has all of my Lego in it and all that good stuff, then that is something that I could use as a tax write-off. I'll probably get audited. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'd the, like to the, see the auditor the thought, come out and see the thought the has shed. the thought has crossed my mind about like, could I write off my entire basement? But I thought there's this there's this um, phrase that says if it sounds too good or stupid to do it that way, it probably is not going to work out. You know, if it's there's there's a good word for it. Not that too good to be true. It probably is. It's like a, writing off a third of your house yeah. <laughs> on your taxes. It's so, gonna work. I, I mean, I know we've gone long, but that yeah, does right. give me a question oh, that okay. I have for you. So when you buy a set and build it and do a review on it, do you write that off the Lego set? If I buy it, yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, I know that's in that's in the past. 
Yeah. But, you know, just... Yeah, I can't do land sales. <laughs> land I'm, not, sales. I'm not buying them. I know. Uh, but, but no, if... Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, there's... See, I get I get a, um, a notice, a 1099 from Google yep. at the end of the year. And I also keep track of all my expenses, whether it's Lego or related or not. There's camera equipment, yeah. uh, anything like that that's related to an expense going towards the production of my YouTube channel is a business write-off. And it's... And and kind of find out. I'm always making money. Can you believe that? I mean, I'm not really making money, but <laughs> let's be honest. Um, but uh, it's um, but yeah, no. If there's a set that I buy, like let's say it's two hundred twenty dollars, I track the price of it when I bought it, uh, and I have a list. Um, and at the end of the year, I so say anything in that calendar year, write it all up, put it on my taxes, and it decreases my tax liability by a little bit. But I still always uncle. I always owe Uncle Sam oh, so I much know. money. I know. It makes me sick. I don't want to talk about taxes. I know. Right I got to do mine. I, I just sure. did my last week, and I'm uh, not happy. I've been. Anyways, okay, moving on. Here, regardless, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. Let's uh, talk about taxes and Lego. I think this is going to be the day. Didn't we decide this would be the day after tax day yesterday? That's was right. Day. Yeah, happy, happy after Hopefully tax day. Hopefully, by the time we're this all is aired, happy. I did my taxes. Um, we're all done. Blah one says, "Holy Blah. smokes!" While watching this video, a Lego Marvel Avengers. Code Red commercial popped up, <laughs> but it was a 42-minute mini show. <laughs> Did you plan this? <laughs> Lego is watching. <laughs> I got a double-sponsored video. Of course, being older, I forgot what you were talking about after 42-minute diversion. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it popped up as the commercial? I don't know. Is that what it was? I don't know. It's weird. Some of those commercials go on they do. and on, and if you uh -huh. don't hit skip... Yeah, it'll you know, keep going it'll go. and going and going. Uh, Josh Stafari yeah. says, speaking of peeps and marshmallow... This is another... I know you weren't <laughs> big on them, but... peeps. <laughs> every week we're going to talk about land fatigue and peeps. That's what we got to do, evidently. Um, would love to see the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man attack the <laughs> Lego Ghostbusters <laughs> Firehouse HQ in the future. <gasps> Now that would make for some bricking news. That would be some bricking news. Have you seen that mock from years ago? The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man mm -mm. walking through. Oh, it was it was it had to be about 18 inches tall. Oh wow. And it was so well done. It was kind of like somebody mocked it because the uh, the Ghostbusters firehouse was coming out. Yep. And it looks so amazing. Does so it look amazing. Like the Michelin man? Uh sort of, but it was it was definitely a Stay Puff Marshmallow oh. Man. Yeah. But it, it looked cool. Hmm. Well, maybe there we'll have go. to think about that. Think, think about it. Uh, Snirazin4938. Okay. Sorry, I tried. Hey. Uh, <laughs> very nice episode. The Gotham Skyline review was really good. My wife thank and you. I loved it. Oh, about you. land reviews, in general, they are quite fun because mm. every YouTuber has a different style mm. of presentation. However, I feel like some high-profile sets are never truly criticized. Ooh, yeah. Uh, looking at you, Medieval Town Square. <laughs> yes, we will hear about the flaws and uh, complain about the price, but in the end, the conclusion, we go get this. So the Medieval, like the new the new one? Yeah, probably everyone just loved the Grey Goat, right? I mean, is that... Oh, I'm, is that really I, well, I on? plan on, on getting that and doing a review, even though it's going to be way after... I mean, it's, it's out, right? Yeah. But that's something that I want for my Medieval Castle area. Uh, but I'm probably a couple months out on actually doing the review on it. But um, now that makes me wonder, like, what's wrong with it? I don't, I, I, I don't watch reviews on Lego sets because, to me, those are spoilers. Uh, like, if it's a set that I'm going to buy, I don't, I don't watch other people's reviews on it. So you don't watch my reviews weekly? <laughs> I watch your stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. I watch your camera. You do a good job. I don't know. I, but I, I try to do a lot of, like, I, I don't do the cutting edge stuff. I think the most cutting edge sets I reviewed this year were the Doc Ock and Spider Man because it had that <laughs> banana piece. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. but you know, like the I did the Lego house sets that I got yeah. when I was there and stuff. So, mm -hmm. anyways, uh, Chris Cummings. Hey, Chris. I think the issue is that some people who are in the know about working for the Lego Group bring mm -hmm. a certain perspective to reviews that mm -hmm. is interesting versus the rest of us as mm -hmm. builders slash collectors. Kind of like a peek behind the wizard's curtain, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. For example, I was watching trains because of the uh, because of the freight cars, and and any given train. Yet a person in the know about the logistics of the railroad might ask why a person such as myself doesn't know, or why I'm curious. Some people also consider informing viewers as not worth the effort, and that's sad, uh -huh. but understandable. 
at least with a podcast, you can ramble, and if no one watches, that's their <laughs> loss. Is it? Is, is it really? It? <laughs> or Dave. I couldn't handle being a Lug member. I'm just too lazy. Oh. Well, the nice thing about being in Lug, you don't really have to do much. You can just go when you want. I found that out. Um, and, and, then there, you know. and then there's a few perks you can get. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'm wondering what Jason's Lug activities are like <laughs> because I'm nosy and curious. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about lugs in the next episode? Maybe. Because that's, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, topic. that's a whole different thing. We can talk yeah. about that next time. Okay, we'll talk about that Hold next that time. Hold that thought. Uh, if I may include, I remember seeing in an early 80s model railroad magazine an ultrasonic paint remover for model railroad use. Oh. Reminds me of the ultrasonic shower scene from Star Trek The Motion Picture. <laughs> Wasn't that also like the, I think that's probably because of the ultrasonic one that uh, Tommy Boy that's probably where that came up. Uh, Kathy Lemoyne says, Here in Belgium, we have chocolate with, with crispy rice, and that pops in your mouth. Ooh, so is that it like, sounds wait, yummy. And that pops in your mouth, like, is that like pop That's rocks? a rice crispy treat. Well, but it pops in your mouth, so is that like, or is it just the rice crispy? It's like the snap, popping? crackle pop, rice crispy. Okay. You know that jingle? No, I don't. Yeah, of course you know well, that jingle. I'm, I'm, how old am I? Of course, we and all then know you have the snap cinnamon crackle. toast crunch. And then you have, what are the other cereal jingles? Did we do Nostalgic Noons? We did. Nostalgic we did. Oh, we already did. Save cereals for next time. Cereals are coming up. I mean, the... After these messages, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> uh, Schmitty4564. Schmitty. Alex, what is the name of your BrickLink store? Thank oh. you, sir. Oh, it's, it's BrickSource. Uh, but, but just a K. B R I K S O U R. So you. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Brick source, your source for great Lego sets. Do you have any great ones right now? I got a, I got a lot of great ones. Check okay. out the store. There's I know one, you I sold need a to, bunch. So I, I need to know. inventory. I've been selling them. Like, oh, you know what I wanted to mention? Okay, so when we were at the flea market for uh, uh, Brick Slopes, remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I brought um, the Batmobile. Yep. And I brought the um, uh, Firehouse. Firehouse. And I had what? What was the the the, the old fishing store? Yeah, those are all gone. I sold them all, and I got more out of them than I thought, except for the no, uh, say not all of the them. Ghostbusters <laughs> not all house. of them. I gave some dude a decent deal well, on that one. It was a decent deal. It, it worked for both. It parties. worked for both That's of us. That's what we'll yeah. say. Yeah, but yeah, they're all, they're all gone. Nice. Yeah, how about that, huh? And you know what? I sold the uh, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS oh. on KSL Local Classified. Okay. And uh, which that is one great. was built, right? It was built, I so I didn't have to just di- take it apart. I remember you saying you were going this, to this guy be able to get a guy that didn't want to. This under-build. guy just showed up, man, and uh, he's in a sweet ride. He was in a, a brand new uh, BMW X6, mm-hmm. and he picked up the Porsche. I, was, I asked him, I was like, "So you're gonna just keep it?" Because it was the last one he had to collect. It was oh, the last okay. one. Okay. And so I was like, "What are you gonna do with it?" He's like, "I'm gonna take it apart and rebuild it." I'm like, "Oh, wow. Okay, cool, man." Well, <laughs> better you than the, me. Enjoy the build, because that's a lot. It's a lot of work taking Technic uh, sets apart, Get those man. Pins out of oh yeah, man, not, not fun. It's it's yeah, it's harder taking them apart than putting them together. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Miss Brick on Brick. Brick on. I don't watch the reviews, but I'd watch someone drawing it. That's a great idea. You know idea. what? It's I'm different. getting some good feedback on the drawings, Ask man. Ask them. I think it's a good thing. Okay. You, you, you know what? I'm gonna. Tr- I'll do it. I'll do it next time. Reach I'll, out to I'll Jordan bring... and say, "Hey, this is what I want to do." Jason had this idea. No, don't tell him that. He'll See. be like, "I don't like that." Yet. Well, yeah, I don't care what you guys do. Just do it. I don't know. I think it, it, it's different. It's different. You're right. It's yeah. totally different. And if it's the day before, you're not giving anything. I mean, like we've talked about, people yeah. already know the set, the number, the price. Nobody, nobody in the land watches they've, me anyway. They've so probably it's fine. seen the uh, minifigs. If it's a Star Wars thing, I mean, all this yeah. stuff oh comes my out. Gosh. It's so crazy. So true. Yeah. Although, all right. Uh, Sudati, pseudo, pseudo tie. I don't know. Okay. I apologize. Uh, that was my comment. Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> I don't know which one. Okay. Uh, in that You're video, <laughs> you got the entire wave of Technic sets and look so underwhelmed that you had to even build them. Did they look underwhelmed? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I edit a lot and you just sit there like this while we're waiting to film. Well, he's talking, so that's about, I, he's I talking about me taking them out of the box. I get that. No, I don't, I don't think I remember that from that video. Well, they look underwhelmed like... Mm. No, mm-hmm. I do remember when we had conversations, you were a little overwhelmed, it seemed like this is going to be a lot of... Because before, you had said Technic wasn't your favorite. 
Not that oh, you yeah. liked Technic, but it wasn't your favorite. And yes. you got a whole box of Technic. So. I got a box of Technic, I did. Anyways. Oof. Uh, it says, I left the same comment on Emma's channel when she got the new Disney castle and never built it to review. Wait, it what? has just become tiresome to see many people get so much free Lego while the price of sets keeps going up mm. on the amount of 18 plus you know, continues to grow year yeah. over year. Yeah. It, it goes on a little bit. Okay, sorry. Uh, land fatigue also is, uh, is video after video. Oh, the big box arrived. What can be inside? Unboxing video, <laughs> build video, review video, placement in the city video. This one is the worst. Who really cares? Oh, that's what I do. <laughs> it's uh, the worst. Putting it in the city is my favorite part. <laughs> Dang. That's... But you don't do a separate video. Like, you do it all as part of your video. Yeah. Uh, I mean, generally. Generally speaking, um, I do, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't want to be in LAN. I don't want to get free Lego. I don't want to be part of any club. I just want to know if I should really spend $300 on a set I can't see in person. There are just so too many influencers that are not true AFALs getting sets to review that they huh. clearly don't care about them. Brixie whined about being suspended from the land because how he will get sets early to review, but just go out to Walmart and Target and find them early and pay for them or do what m &R does. He does get a lot of sets early. He was the yeah. first person to review the Venator. m &R Productions? Yeah. Oh, cool. I think, I think he got it from Singapore. Oh, like so it was at the Singapore airport, and like yeah. he worked this whole thing. It was that one was and crazy. When I so the other one, the Obi Wan Kenobi brickheads, yeah, the one that I got you from the yeah thing, right? The guy in front of me, in line. Oh, he yeah he he told he, me he sent like, it oh, over I, to him. I, yeah, he said I just sold this to M and R. Yeah, he's like yeah he paid me two hundred bucks for it. Yeah. For for two brickheads, but he's yeah. like he paid two hundred bucks and he has him overnight it. Yeah, sure. So he could be the first one to have right. it review it. Makes sense. Yeah, you know, but that's what he does. I mean, he's found a way for it to work for him. Uh, anyways, uh, ETA, your Batman art set review was good, and Mindy is a real treat. <laughs> How much she enjoyed the set. She did. For her, you are a fortunate man, not because you are in land. Ashen Flash review was better though. I don't know. I didn't Gee, watch thanks. Uh... <laughs> Long live Jang. Long... So I don't, I, I don't know. There was a lot of things. So I, I don't know if that was. I don't know. Alex was or... was that like I Alex? You suck, or was that Alex? I like know. I like you. Oh, let me say this: yeah. if if you want an honest review of whether you should like buy it or not, that's what I try to do in my videos. Yeah. So that being the case, give me a chance, right? Yeah. But if you don't like it, then don't watch it. I'm not gonna make you watch it. And you know what? Honestly, if I got out of the land next week, who cares? I'm I'm good. My you're gonna still still get the same content from me. Probably not as many. I was gonna say maybe not the sets. same. There'll be a little less. There'll be content. fewer. <laughs> there'll be fewer land sets, obviously, quite a bit. Um, but uh, irregardless, uh, I don't know, man. That was kind of a rough comment. Jeez. Well, that's just we I, got a, I'm still pulling. Long live Jang. Down with Alex. <laughs> That's how I got. That's what I got from that. Well, at least they talked about you. That's all I guess. <laughs> um, <coughs> I'll cut that out. So, I'm still hoping for that day you decide. Okay, I'm not going to be in land anymore. Remember, remember what we decided. Oh yeah, what we're we going to do? Just early review the set it comes, and we're just going to blow it out <laughs> of the water. You are going to get the most views ever. Pretty... So I got to time it just right with something cool. Well, it's got to huh? be cool. Like I'm going to show you these. Stunt sets. Like, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Look, I got these video version 2.0. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, Miss Brick, Brick on Brick. Fred hey. puts the cat oh. out. The cat jumps back in through the window and puts Fred out. The cat is the saber tooth yeah. tiger. No, you, we said Dino. Oh, it wasn't Dino. It was, it was Dino. saber tooth tiger. You know, I was thinking that. I, th I knew we got that wrong. I got it wrong. This is a live show. We can't know yeah. everything at the can't moment. Can't look it up. But, but no, there's no glass, man. Just go through the go through the window. It doesn't matter if it's if it's Dino or the saber tooth tagger. Just, I, yeah. Okay. Moving right along. Well, good news. <laughs> we only have a couple left. Okay, good. Uh, me myself, the one says hey. I usually watch one or two reviews of a set, but even if it's a set I really like and think about getting, there's a limit on how many times I'll watch what basically amounts to the same video about that set. So yeah, I think there are too many land people on YouTube, or rather, too many of them getting the same sets. Share the wealth around. Give that smaller YouTuber a chance to review. I, I will say they do have some that are not big YouTubers. 
And mm-hmm. and you know there there could be various reasons for that, but I've seen some that like their reviews yeah. seriously don't get as many as mine, and I'm like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah. no, uh, yeah. Well, I don't think it's going to change. Um, you're going to see more people get the sets. I, I think as the land grows, I don't think you're going to see fewer. Uh, and I don't have like the uh, the exact numbers, but um, there's about ninety one or so land members who get lego sets for review right now and i don't know how many releases they have but they have a pre-planned release schedule and so and for each set there's about i think between maybe 12 to 15 of them that go out okay. uh, to land members so yeah you're gonna see a dozen people get it early and your reviews on various um uh social media outlets yep. mostly youtube especially the big ones especially if they're big ips things like that uh, that's, I don't think that's ever going to change. I don't, they will, I guarantee you, they will never go. I feel bad for this one YouTuber. Let's throw, let's throw Alex a line here and give him the only Batman Gotham city set. No. So he'll do better on his channel. They could not care less it's about, about the getting, videos you get. It's about getting the largest number of people to see it. Yes. It's and all not, about not the exposure. Subscribe to Alex because... People are going to sign when, to Emosaurus that are not right. subscribed to you. When they when they look at um, the market and they look at you, they don't look at how many views you get. They look at your uh, exposure, which is I, I, it sounds like it's the same thing, but it's not. So yeah. they'll look at like, where is Alex? Alex represents Utah or that mountain region in the United States. What does Tiago and, cover? And the what what region. is and the AARP <laughs> region? Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> Who would have thought? Anyway, that's too funny. To but they look at where you are logistically in the world uh, to make sure that they're they've got the right coverage as far as who represents that region, right? So that's why. What are you laughing at, man? The next comment. <laughs> I didn't see this when I said this. Is bricks in space? Lan AARP current one member. <laughs> Bam. I wonder who they're talking there about. There it is. <laughs> AARP land. That's funny. Gosh. No, I mean, that's that's yeah. kind of the point that Jordan made, right? They're trying to get different markets, mm-hmm. right? They don't want just a bunch of 40-year-old white guys doing reviews. They <laughs> they want that, but they also want younger girls. They want younger guys yes. who are into this. They need, you know, people of different diverse backgrounds. You know, whether they're Asian yeah. or African American or whatever. And that's why they want to get into other markets as well. Yeah. Because that's, yeah. to your point, that's the whole thing about Lego Land is push out Lego yeah, everywhere you, to everyone. If you guys go to the Land and you can see where all the Land members are, like you can see the map and, ha- and how many people are in each area. Oh, my, my, my wife's calling me. Um, hold on. Hey, babe, what's up? Oh, hey, I'm just heading home. Okay, good. No, you're good. I got to come back tomorrow anyways, but I'm like, well, yeah. do what I need to do tonight. And anyway, um, so I yeah. do you want me to get something to eat on the way home or I can have PB Day when I get home? Um, um if you guys are hungry, you can yeah. get something to eat when the boys like. Yeah, um, no, we'll probably all be hungry here very soon. Uh so if you want me to go grab something for us all I can, uh, or make something, um, you know, you had a long day, so you might want to get something good to eat. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. You can check it. He's on the phone. Like, are you guys all your schedules on this Uh, they're kind of they're kind of synced a little bit. They're not terrible. Um, but we're all going to be hungry here pretty soon, I, I'd imagine. So. Um, gosh, I don't know. Um, I ought to check and see the boys. Um, uh, let me let me check. Um, Jason and I are, are are fixing our last video we that got cut off. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Um, it's okay. So, but it's just like we're we're wrapping it up right now, and then um, and then I'll go check with the boys and uh, I'll get a plan together and I'll call you back. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Sorry. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay, sorry. She's like, how much longer is this going to be? 43 minutes out. Oh, my god. This is going to be a two-hour episode, <laughs> just so you know. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know. Was I talking about something? I, I don't can't know. remember. I got a call. So. Yeah, we'll cut it out. I don't know. Something. We have two more comments, and then we'll 
Cap it. Uh, B older bricks three one four zero. I love watching you two, but oh boy, Alex, you do sound like a grumpy old man today. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not grumpy. At all. Wait, today, <laughs> today, <laughs> just, just ask my wife. Every day. Um, and the last one we have on here is from Beans Bricks. Hey, Beans Bricks. No, in England we do not have peeps. Sounds oh. like we are missing out. Totally Love missing Alex's out. Alex's mini rant, too, about Fred Flintstone in the window. <laughs> Brilliant show, guys. Yes, thank you. Right. That's a good one to end on. That is the last one, right? That is all oh of them for goodness. now. There might Woo. be more that come in, but... Oh, my goodness. Thank you for your comments, well, questions, and concerns. <laughs> so, I think this is a record, Alex. I was looking. We might be over two hours. We are challenging sure, the A-Fools. Sure feels that way. <laughs> Don't challenge them. They'll go five hours easy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. Well, do we have an awesome sponsor this time? or? Uh, I don't know. Do you? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of we us this time. always have yeah. an awesome sponsor. Yeah. Hey, come on now. Uh, no. And um, I think um, we'll have... Uh, so next week is when we're going to announce yeah, the, the announcement. Yeah, the announcement. Right. The winner announcement. And uh, it's... Man, and again, thank you for your submissions. They were awesome. They I, created... I think we might have said last week we were going to do this week. But, yeah. Well, but next week, 100% for sure. 100%. We promise. Yeah. Mark your calendar. Yes, Check exactly. your email boxes. Check your email boxes. And we'll, we'll do a, a, a little... Uh, we'll have to kind of start that on our next um, our I mean, next recording. I, know, I, have, an, I have a thought. I'll, You're having a thought? I'll, yeah. He's I'll, having I'll share a thought. with you afterwards. It'll be great. You guys won't see it, but all right. Well, oh, no, they'll uh, see it next week, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah maybe, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Know. You never know with us. We're very inconsistent and forgetful in oh, our no, old age. Oh, no, we're consistent in our inconsistency. At least we never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. <laughs> God, you're going to say to thank today's sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, next. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. And as always, we would like to thank today's, today's sponsor. sponsor. If your furry friend is in need of some care and assistance, come to the blue door next to Joe's Garage. Upstairs you'll find Dr. Jones Animal Care. Dr. Jones has all the required training and years of experience, not to mention top-notch equipment to help you and your friend feel better. Dr. Jones can treat just about every animal, no matter what ails them. He does cats, dogs, long dogs, little dogs, Spotted dogs, cartoon dogs, crazy dogs, no-faced dogs, birds, exotic birds, owls, white chickens, brown chickens, squirrels, rabbits, blue rabbits, jackrabbits, lucky rabbits, turtles, chameleons, fish, crabs, frogs, Goats, bats, spiders, otters, pigs, sheep, big horse, little horse, little gators, and scorpions. So whatever animal needs you may have, just bring them on in. But just remember, Dr. Jones doesn't do snakes. I hate snakes, Jacques! I hate them!